Okay, looks like it's all recording now, chat. Welcome back, welcome back. It's time for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! for the week. I've been having a lot of fun with this. We have a lot of games going on lately, but it's still been really nice to just kind of make time for this. It really is just good to turn on and play. But anyways, since I've been playing with um, this guy, people have been telling me that he actually really is one of the worst in this game. Like, he just does not know how to use his cards. I'm not just, like, looking at it wrong. He, he just isn't playing properly, just like how Chaz was. Um, let's not duel them. I switched to Teddy Tool, uh, Teddy Toll, by the way. We were playing Heroes at the end of last episode. Okay, where's the actual students I can warm up on? I don't want to fight the hard guys, it'll ruin me. Especially because Aster is my partner. Yep, it's recording, thank you for asking. We got a big week planned. Plan to start it off nice and cozy. Uh, what about you two? Massed army, surging waves... He has that annoying field spell of stuff. You know what? Let's let, let's go for it. I'm gonna try. Do I want a duel? Okay. Go for the double duel. We can also do some solo duels as well. Remember, we're trying to build up points so we can buy sandwiches and be done with this guy. I'm gonna see if I can make a push to finish his playthrough because he has been one of the slowest to gain characters, which says a lot because I have all the cards unlocked. The slowest to gain should have been the first one. The first partner, I mean, because we had no cards to work with. He's a pro duelist, everybody. Look at that pro. Doesn't even have a monster to summon turn one. Heck yeah, it's Teddy time. Ooh, nice. Two of those right off the bat. Okay, we'll go ahead and set the koala. I hope I don't get Heavy Storm. That's my deck's big weakness, but you know what? Let's just MST one of his cards back there, because Aster is never going to use this. Oh, his ring. Okay. kind of want to help my game plan, but it's fine. I notice that enemies will always prioritize getting rid of Wave Motion Cannon. Hmm. You know what? We'll set this too, because we can. Teddy Toll is fun, because it's, it's, it's really nice to watch a bunch of small effects go off together to burn. Okay, there's that. He's doing this. Increase the thing. Hold up one minute. Effective a spell card that targets the monster. Okay, that doesn't matter then. We don't need to target him. There's a rod. This card is unaffected by all any spell cards. Can, uh, can it cannot be an attack target of your opponent's monsters. Weird way to phrase that, but whatever. We're gonna do this right quick for a small amount of damage. Okay, he's going for it. He can't beat over me, that's good. Oh, don't worry, you're not late at all, Lilac. We just started. I was just kind of warming up before I hit record for YouTube, getting set, getting everything set up. He sacrificed Koala for Dasher, that's actually okay. Just a break. Well, oh, that's terrible. Set the mirror. He's never gonna set the Mirror Force. He needs that empty space there in case he needs Mirror Force, chat. He's too big brain. The Pro Duelist just knows what he's doing. He just knows what he's doing, chat. Of course. Uh, we're playing Teddy Toll. Aster is playing something. Um, no, I do not want to sp summon the Penguin. Maybe I kind of need the body, though. Maybe I should go for Blast Sphere. No. Better to stall with Penguin if it goes off. I could just go for, um, 4,000 damage. Yeah, I may as well do that. <laughs> We're gonna set you. You know, I could set off... What if they Heavy Storm, though? Then I'm giving up a lot of damage there. I feel like it should be easy to hit the last ones. Hmm be overkill if I... You know what? YOLO, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Let's go. Okay, good. He fell for it. There's no way Aster can ruin this. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Okay, we bounced him. He's gonna summon that thing. We're gonna activate this. Go on. Go on. Activate them. Activate them when we win. Aster, please just activate activate the cards. Please. Okay, good. He needed to set up his clock tower for no reason, just to prove that he could. 
We did it. Teddy's win. A duel. I lost. Boy, you're good. Let's duel again. Two students from Slifer Red. Yeah, we did it, boy. You happy? The medals and... Hang on. Reason to live. They're both at eight. Why not? He had to see what time it was. It was time to tell everyone he's a pro duelist again. I hope you're all feeling cozy today, everyone. I'm feeling a lot better. Only downside is it's another one of those days where I was just kind of recovering and I slept right through my alarm. And I, I despise for doing that so much. I really hate waking up late, but I cannot for the life of me just wake up early if I'm too tired. I just, my body just will just sleep right through it. Card trader. I can't take naps either. Like, I will just like, I have to crash for a while. I can't just sleep for a tiny bit. Okay, he put Diamond Dude down. Um, honestly, yeah, we could just flip summon you. Don't need to ring a destruction yet. Okay, it was Princess, bottom of the deck for her. I'm gonna play the fun game, and I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna set down Stealth Bird. And we're gonna do this. Don't worry, Aster won't play cards. That's why Chain Energy is perfect to play with him. <laughs> Aster doesn't even know how to destroy his own, um, his own field spell. He'll never do it. He prioritizes having the, the battle damage. Um, I could get rid of the Hex Sealed Fusion, but it's probably better to, bet him, better to let him summon a fusion monster and then destroy it. Okay, let's do this. Now first, we're gonna activate the nerf guns. Let's do it. Perfect. What am I doing? That's supposed to happen. Let him do that. Card Trader is activated. Chain Energy is going off. Five hundred. Pay the tiny toll, sucker. You want to play the game? You gotta pay the fine. Diamond Dude is free damage when we need it. If you put down that heavy storm, Master. Okay, he's going for Diamond Dude. He got Rhoda. Okay. At least he knows to flip the Stealth Bird. That's good. Tell me he's not. Okay. Good. Alright, this one's in the bag. Teddy Toll is very fun to play. I imagine when we get access to some, uh, like, Synchro Era burn cards, it'll be pretty nice, too. Let me see. I'm sure there's some fancy effects we can take advantage of with Synchro Monsters. Okay, perfect. Um... Diamond Dude doesn't have enough to finish him off, so let me just... Yeah, first let's flip up Stealth Bird, and we'll just Ring of Destruction Diamond Dude or something. Oh wait, we could just do it to Stealth Bird and get the exact amount of life point damage bonus. Why not? Pop. Ring of Destruction is such a stupid card. This is like the only Yu-Gi-Oh game I'll get to use it in, by the way. Like, it, this thing is super banned till like the end of time. Well, until it's errata, anyway. You know what I mean. Guess my deck needs more work. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. We want to get Aster to a full three heart of dueling and then spend a bunch on sandwiches to get to the next one. No one's in here. Anyone in? Oh, what am I doing? I keep forgetting Chaz's room has two doors. Because he's just that awesome. No one's in here. Wow, everybody's chilling in here. This is quite a cast of characters to find in um, the Slifer Red Room. We haven't fought his level one. Yeah, he beat me four times because that Chaz finale. He actually, him and his um, brother actually had one of the um, the best like boss decks in the whole game, I'd say. 
Oh, harm me. Harm me. Hiccuping a little bit back here. Okay, don't worry, I'm good. The Chaz finale was wild. I had no idea they were planning to play the same, like, five-headed dragon strat that I was doing the whole time. It was poetic. I think both him and uh, his brother have the same frickin' deck, though, don't they? No idea. Oh, nice. He's gonna go immediate crush card. Did he have Mirror Force in there? I think he did. Well, I guess we better not attack. Two Stealth Birds. That's gonna affect Sea Spire, though, so I'm gonna have to flip it up after... St Aster's not gonna do that, though. He's not. He's not. Okay. Set that down. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll do it anyway. Now, let it be the next player's turn, where he has a full hand. And we're gonna activate this now. 1,800. Take 500 more. Okay. Well, there goes my ceasefire, so much for that. And he gave- wow, he had to get rid of cards because of Crush Card there. That's actually pretty good. Best Morphing Jar setup ever, huh? Is he gonna tribute my freaking? He's not even gonna flip it up first? Oh my, mm. You see what I gotta deal with, chat? You see the- Ja- Aster, you knew- you knew he had Mirror Force and you did that. Really? 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 Really now? Pro Duelist, everybody. He tributed my effect monster without using the effect first, and then he attacked into the mirror force that he knew was on the field. Because that was revealed, for crying out loud. Um... They can't beat over him, but we need the extra body, to be honest. So we'll do it. Not like he has cards in his hand anyway. This is the most 3v1 partner ever, yes. Everyone in Tag Force 1 was a 3v1, though. You know what, chat? Let's make Mr. Fancy Pants pay the toll. You want to cross this bridge? Hand over all your cookies to the bear, mister. Let's do it. He's burning up. 1,000 points a pop. He's tributing. Yeah, I figured he'd go for the face-up to beat stick. Wait, what? Oh, okay, he's taking that thing. Pay the toll, sucker. And now we're gonna hit him with Cylinder. See, Astro, this is how you pro-duel us. This is how you be a pro-duel. Burning up. You did it. He's going for his destiny draw, like, that's gonna help him. He can make one attack and that's it, bro. And he's flipping up the mummy, he- I win. Yeah, that's game. Well, we won that, but no thanks to Aster whatsoever, he was not very good. It would've been so funny if he attacked with Mor Morphing Jar, yeah. This is not the way I was expecting things to go, see you again! Our win. Okay. Okay, uh, who was his partner again? Was it this guy? I think it was. I've beaten- I, I'm about to beat you ten times. Let's go for it. I can't tell who's partners with who. Tag duel. Sure, let me get a drink here. Why don't I? Aster has no fusion monsters in his deck at all. Oh, he's with Mindy. Teddy Toll and Mindy? Oh, that's fun. Degenerate versus Degenerate. Who's, who's gonna become the best, chat? Oh. I was holding down the button. He's immediately fusing? Is he making the tank? He is. We're gonna have to ring a destruction that. 
Except Aster has to go first. He discarded Malicious. Okay, good. Put it in defense mode. And set Diamond, dude, because you're a coward. Mecha Dog. The D counter. A thousand to both players. Wait, what? Didn't it say both players? No, it just said both players. Let me read that, for God's sakes. Come on. Inf when this card is destroyed, the battle to the graveyard. When this card is... Oh, okay. I see, I see. I Okay, I understand now. It wasn't destroyed by battles, destroyed by the trap card, so I see. Hmm. Hmm. Two cards there. We gotta make sure we bring in a destruction that labyrinth tank. Actually, we should let it attack first in the cylinder. That'd be funny. Hmm. D chain. Knew this for a little bit of burn. Hmm. Maybe don't put the toll down yet first. Just use just desserts to see if he puts down another. Okay, whatever. Never mind, we have extra room on the field, everybody. I made him go minus to do that. Okay. Hope she does what I want, or he does what I want. Okay, nice. First, we're gonna go ahead and flip up just desserts. Take 1500, boy. Pay the tiny toll. He's attacking Princess, which will do nothing. This is fine. Okay, you're getting destroyed. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now here comes the attack from the tank. He's gonna pay 500, chat. And then we're gonna activate the magic cylinder. And, oh my, oh my, look how that math adds up, chat. Look how that math adds up. This is pro-dueling. All according to plan, chat. Teddy Bear Streamer does it again. All according to the Teddy Toll, yes. <laughs> ah, whatever, I didn't even try. See you again. Heh, Arwen. I'm not fighting Jasmine. I've had enough of Jasmine's crap for now. She's with Dark Magician Girl, too. Hmm. Well, we've basically dueled everyone on the, the Red Dorm for the morning. How about the classroom before class starts? I never really checked that out. You plan on studying here? I don't need to study. Aster, I've seen you duel. You absolutely do. <laughs> Blair and what's-his-face? I think that's Duran. Great axe. Oh, he's at nine. Let's get to ten. That very minor milestone matters so much to me. I haven't actually read the Yu-Gi-Oh! mangas, no, but I do want to. I know that, like, for, like... GX, 5Ds, Zexalan, uh, Arc 5. They're, they're all very, very different stories that don't even attempt to follow the anime. They just use the same characters. But I heard they're actually surprisingly really good. They didn't make one after Arc 5 anymore, though, right? They stopped making manga. I have some of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! manga, by the way. I got, like, one of those, like, omnibuses that has, like, three volumes in one. And I wanted to kind of give, like, the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! a bit of a read, because I always wanted to. I know that, th that that's back when it was before it was about card games exclusively. It was just, like, the Pharaoh spirit coming out of Yu-Gi to just do, like, weird crap. And beat, like, criminals in games before the people get killed. Okay. Hmm. Chaz is actually competent in the manga. Yeah, I like... I've been trying to read more stuff as well. Like, I mentioned this during last stream, but I, I, like, I have a bunch of, like, weird light novels and manga, and I wanted to just kind of binge read a bunch of the crazy sounding ones and just, like, tell my chat how wild they get. Like, some of those isekais, like the one where the dude becomes a vending machine in a fantasy world. 
Just, I want to, like, see how dumb it can really get. Okay. All right. I put chain energy down before finishing my turn. What the hell's wrong with me? Well, I wasted 500 on that. This should be good here. Let's do it. Okay, pay 500. Well, well, well. Hmm, I feel like I could save that cylinder for something a bit more. I need Stealth Bird face down to do the, um, the thing. You know what? I'll ring a destruction, that 1400 stick, because why not? I don't want to take too much damage, just in case. And he takes a little bit more, because I say so. Nice. Master, don't you dare. Don't you dare put down the heavy storm. Okay, discard malicious. At least he knows how to do that. In attack mode. Master, don't you attack with Stealth Bird. I'm begging you. Please don't. Come on. Come on. There's three face downs back there. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, he's get Oh, he's putting down Dogma. You know what? Go ahead. That's actually acceptable. Now you can Heavy Storm. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. That would have been safe to just go for frickin' blood there, but then he decided to preserve our back row. Okay. Well, we got Cylinder for this one. I know about the Dungeon Dice Monster game. I did want to do some streams of that. I've said it a billion times for this playthrough, but Yu-Gi-Oh! content is just cozy for me now. Okay. Setting this down. He can't even play any cards anymore. Poor chump. I don't need to put my other one down. He's paying 500 to put down the axe on that thing. And, oh, look at that, you lose. Now that's satisfying right there. By the way, how's the audio sound good? Good, good, good. The heroes are a good draw engine, but they can't do anything with it, yeah. Can I combine, like, Exodia with that or something? I feel like that's gonna be crusty and I'm not gonna always get it. Or I'm not gonna have the draw cards I need to make it work. Malicious could m help mill the deck, could discard it for Destiny Draw. I could put Destiny Hero Defender in there to stall, but it's gonna give my opponent more chances for outs. Oh, wait, Diamond Dude Exodia Turbo. Oh, that's right. I use a lot of normal spells. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I could try making that combo later, but I only have one copy of Diamond Dude. I need three. Sure, let's fight Geary. Oh, yeah, Appropriate. That's the card that lets you draw when your opponent draws, right? A little bit of a slow setup on that, but I can see it working. First to go. The D must stand for draw. But it may as well stand for loss, because it's not even getting that far in the duel. <laughs> Destiny draw. I love how the artwork depicts a freaking duel disc. He's got his clock tower. That happens like once every hundred duels with him. The D stands for defeat. Yes, it does. Oh, I draw two cards if the opponent draws outside of their draw step. Oh, I get ya. Destiny Hero Disc Commander gets to do that. Alright then. Don't need to do that. Hang on. 1700. I can use the D-Chain to kill her. But when I kill her, though, she's gonna... 
Yeah, gonna remove me from play. Hmm. First, let me just try the diamond dude effect. Okay, it was Toll, continuous card. We're gonna put this down, we're gonna put that down. Destroyed by battle. I could just put the D-chain on him as a deterrent. It'd actually be better for me if he tributed the damn thing. So if I attack into this, we're both just gonna get removed from play. Okay, I won't even get the burn damage because it doesn't send them to the graveyard. It'll remove them from play instead. That interaction is not in my favor. So we'll put this down for now. We'll set you... Um... I'm gonna do this first in case. We'll see. Anyways, we're gonna hit him immediately with two, two nerf gun blasts. Back to back, baby. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yu-Gi-Oh! is peak cozy. Yes, it is. So fun. I did. Me I keep mentioning possibly... Oh, he actually did tribute. I didn't think he actually really would. Um, I was gonna start a DS Yu-Gi-Oh! game on the side alongside this, but um, this week we're starting too many other things. I promised Mother 3, and I actually looked into playing Recharge Yellow, that hack of um, Emerald version that recreates Pokemon Yellow. I got that working, you guys, and I'm gonna play it this Thursday. Because we already have a Pokedex playthrough going on the side, I was gonna play the game's built-in challenge mode, which actually makes the game really hard. Um, I took a peek at it, seeing what makes it difficult, and it apparently it gives, like, the opponents, like, a lot of, like, good EVs and stuff. And actual good moves. Like, I think Misty Starmie gets access to Stab Psychic. And, like, uh, early game Oddishes will have, like, Giga Drain instead of Absorb. Probably Sludge Bomb over Acid. It seems like it'd be a fun time. Does it have good AI? Um, it, the game has a built-in Nuzlocke mode you can select at the start, so I assume they knew what they were doing for setting stuff up, so... I want to say yeah. I got the latest version of it. That adds Cerulean Cave. Okay, now we can attack with this. I'm not sure the Pokedex is fully completable in the current version, but it seemed like a fun thing to play for a challenge mode run. Okay, there's a Lure Queen, but we sent you to the graveyard, so take 500. And that looks good. Clock Tower Prison is activated. If you, if you didn't hear me talk about it last stream, Recharged Yellow, it's an emerald hack that basically recreates Pokemon Yellow in Gen 3 style. Apparently they used Emerald as a base because Emerald just has more content. Like, stuff to work with, including being able to animate the sprites, which is interesting because they actually use the Fire Red and Leaf Green sprites, but they add, like, custom animations for when they come into battle. So you don't have to deal with, like, crusty Hoenn, Hoenn sprite Pidgey. Nice. It has a Pokemon- your lead Pokemon does follow you, yeah. The, the tools for Pokemon Emerald modding are also amazing. Yeah, a lot more better for, than Fire and Leaf Green. I lost, which is funny, because I guess you're recreating a lot of Fire and Leaf Green stuff in that case. Gotta relax, next time I'll relax more. Okay, he's at seven. Defiant Ones, he's at that. Or, who are you again? Dark Shogun. Cyrus and that guy are up there. Pure offense. Sure, let's duel them. We're making a lot of duel points right now. Aster almost got that three hearts. He. R win. Yeah, they misspelled heh. Let's go. Your offense, Dark Shogun. Another interesting thing that um, you Recharge Yellow does that I find really interesting, there's actually, like, slightly different palettes for Pokemon to kind of emulate what Pokemon Stadium did, or sometimes Pokemon are, like, different shades of green and yellow. So when you run into a random Pokemon, you could just, like, find a slightly more greenish-looking Kakuna, <clears throat> or a more yellow version-looking 
looking Kakuna as well. It's really weird, and it saves that when you catch the Pokemon. Also, we're getting bodied immediately by that thing. Look at that. Wow. We might be in trouble, chat. Oh, wait, we can bring a destruction, that sucker. Never mind, we got this. Oh, we absolutely got this. Let's go. Do this. Do that. We'll set this. Set that. Y'all want to see a murder? Let's go for it. Okay. Chain strike there. Let her play something first. Let her play something. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go, chat. It's chain time. First, just desserts. We're going all in. Then, ring of destruction. Oh, I did it backwards, so just desserts will be useless, but it's okay. And then, chain strike. Let's go. 1,600. 4,900. We win. <laughs> I didn't even need to finish resolving. How y'all doing? All right. Now that was a duel. No heavy storm this time. Sorry I'm always spacing out. Let's duel again sometime. Our win. Let's keep it up. Oh, I think he hit the thing. Let's do one more duel, Joe, to make sure it's maxed out. Because sometimes it, the heart isn't maxed out, even though it looks like it. <clears throat> it's weird. All right. Let's do it. First to go. See, like, a little sliver of it? Yeah, the, the, gra the pixels are just weird for it, too. Some things about this game are not very well made. Lock Tower Prison. He set his Ring of Destruction. Good. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Should have let yourself get the draw first. Wait, what? Alright. He paid less life points in that case. Whatever. And we get the draw now. He got MST, but I'll never use it. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, I'm ready for this. Hang on. Summon a second monster, please. MST, what are you hitting? Oh, the tower? Uh, okay. Oh no, don't destroy that. How will I summon Dreadmaster now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold up. This card... Uh, this card can destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field, but it cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. Well, there goes Cylinder. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, then. Let's activate Just Desserts. We can still do this. Just wait a sec. Hmm... I should- I missed my chance to get full optimization from the nerf gun blast now, but... First, we're gonna let this flip up. Take 700. Koala will hit you for 1,200 more. Now we're gonna do Sea Spire. Hit her for everything she's got. Come on. 1,200... 2,000. Now that, that's satisfying. Oh boy. Let's go. Okay, his hearts are full. So we have access to event number three, but the events are... They're all generic until after the fourth one. Got a good amount of duel points. Time for class. Um, nah, not today. I don't care, I'm a pro. Yeah, we want to go here to do this right away. Oh, it's the gambler. Fighting him with Teddy Toll is always amusing as hell. 
All right, chat, you ready? Like a teddy? I'm very excited to do some streaming this week. It's going to be lots of fun. I had some trouble getting stuff uploaded last week now, but it's looking good. I've got the Moomin playthrough uploading while I stream right now. I hope people find that cozy. I had a lot of fun, because this was like the first week I got to use the, the, PNG, the, the Commission PNG Tuber. That has been so much fun to use. We're actually using that after Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. We're going to be doing a Mario Party CPU, t uh, CPU game. Like I promised, I got my PNG tuber with a little commentator mic and everything. I'm hoping we can make that a more of a regular thing sometimes. Good way to unwind at the end. Streamer doesn't have to hurt himself going so long because he doesn't even need to play the game anymore. I think I want to do Jungle Japes on Mario Party 1. Okay, Jirai Gumo is there. Jirai Gumo is a good target for Ring of Destruction. Do this. I feel like I want I should save do I like playing Peach's birthday cake in Mario Party 1, right? But um hang on. Do this. I think I want to save that for like a birthday stream. That'll be fun. Cause that's a good board to let it let the CPUs go for a long time. Okay, we're gonna ring of destruction now. On Jirai Gumo. Let me see. Hmm. Not yet, it's fine. We don't need to cease fire it. Okay, Burning Land will be pretty nice. And can protect myself with this. Poison Mummy's not gonna do crap. That's fine. I like Peach's birthday cake a lot. It's also in Mario Party Superstars, but like my brothers like refuse to play that. They will never play that ge that map ever. They hate it, but I love it. It's it's fun. I like setting up a bunch of stuff around the cake. Like, have you seen my deck in this game? Of course I'd love that such degeneracy. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, um, Peach's birthday cake in Mario Party 1, how it works is you walk around the, 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 the board, which is her cake, and you basically pay to buy piranha plant spaces. And if an opponent lands on a piranha plant space, they lose a star and it goes to the whoever owns the space. So it's like essentially like kind of like Monopoly. You're setting up a bunch of stuff around the board. So late game becomes just like devilish to walk around. Okay, we'll do this. He's going to go for the attack. He's going to go for the coin flip. He gets a second coin toss, though. Okay. Uh, wait. I won't get that now, will I? Let me just see how this interaction goes. I think I did it backwards. No, he- no, nothing happens. Okay, well, I wasted that. <laughs> Alright. I also like the Yoshi one a lot in, um, Mario Party 1. I hope none of the board music gets claimed. That'd be a pain in the ass to have to deal with. Oh, he got the gain? Seriously? Oh no, I'm gonna lose now. <sighs> he may have just killed me. That sucks. Well then. You agree with my brothers? That board becomes a war. I like it though, it can be fun. When we're setting up for that, by the way, chat, you guys want me to do more with the, um, the Teddy Tokens, which is, like, my, my Twitch chat currency that it gives you just for watching. So we're gonna make a big prediction thing, and you're all gonna predict who you think is gonna win. And it's gonna close as soon as the game starts. That'll be fun. Let's do this. Maybe we can still do this. Come on. Interactive part of the stream. Everyone has to stick around to see if their favorite wins. Okay, we got Stealth Bird. Maybe. Maybe. No, it's not worth it to use just desserts unless we're going for, like, the kill. This is my last chance. 
see if I can win or immediately restart. Burning land. You know what the funny thing I need to do is, though? Because on the Switch, I have no save data for Mario Party, at the very end of the board, I need to make all the computer opponents human so that I just get credit for all the stars and coins. Let me see. Burning land is activated. No, 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 it's fine. It's not going to be enough, chat. He didn't summon another monster. He can't afford to play any cards. I can't afford to play any cards. Oh, no. <laughs> it's over. Unless he magically gets three monsters on board, I lose. He healed 2,000 life points a little while ago, and that basically ruined it. He's just waiting for me to die. Draw. Nope, it's over. Why is it playing the wind music? I'm not winning. All right. Try again. Let's do it. We can do CPU games for every Mario Party, basically. From, like, the N64 ones, GameCube, all the way up to, like, even the Switch ones. Yeah, let's do it. The Gambler. Second chance. Okay, Dangerous Machine. That's annoying. That's the thing about Pierre's deck, is that, like, you can just lose, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's a gamble. He's, a, he's playing gamble cards. Of course he can do it. Well... We both take 2,000. That's fun. Okay, we're gonna set this stuff up. And get ready to do some fun chain strategies. I'll do this first. Let's go for it. Okay, Dangerous Machine. Hang on, he's gonna go for killing my cards, right? Your opponent discards one card from their hand. Your opponent draws a card, destroy one card your opponent's game. Okay, yeah, I should chain to all of these then. I'll go for the full chain strike. Secret barrels. They're spongy and very dangerous, apparently. 1600. Secret barrel. 1200. Just desserts. A little bit more. Oh, he destroyed a monster for free. That's lame. I don't need to magic cylinder that. That would be a bit of a waste. Definitely save it for something stronger. Well, it's all up to the koala now. Let's do this. Please don't get it again. Two. I gotta discard from my hand. Of course I do. Oh, he's not doing, doing it. He's going to roll that damn thing every time, so you know what? We're going to have to. I need to whittle him down. Save Stealth Bird. We can win, chat. Teddy's will win. I drew a card. Nice. Oh, boy. He's really doing this, huh? Let's flip it. He's gambling. He thinks he can do it. We'll throw this down. Nice. Well, there goes that. There goes my koala. And we win. He didn't really have much going on that time, did he? I love the little satisfying sound of a die just kind of rolling across the table. It's such a nice little sound, isn't it? Alright, get out of here, Pierre. 
Oh, sigh. Well, we did that. School's currently closed. So let's look around and maybe get a few points before we buy sandwiches after. Anyone around here? Oh, you two. This is like a disaster dueling these two with the together. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Chat, do you have a favorite Mario Party board? I feel like there's a lot of them, but I... I used to play a lot more Mario Party when I was younger with my brothers, but, like, we're all, like, older now, so we only really get together and play it in, like, birthdays and stuff. Game I had every GameCube one, every N64 one. Pretty much had them all as they were coming out, to be honest. I don't think I missed a single one. Let me see. I never really played 3 as much as 2 and 1. I felt like 3 was kind of, like... I don't know. Something about the aesthetic just seemed a little too, like... Like, it was the same models from 1 and 2, but it had more storybook stuff. Didn't quite... The boards just kind of didn't quite look right to me. Kind of a weird complaint, I know, but I just never... I just liked the costumes and the life of everything in Mario Party 2 a lot. Yay. Mario Party DS was fun when it didn't disconnect and stop the whole game. Okay, Burning Land. Dust Tornado. Well, there goes that. We're gonna throw down you, I guess, and we're gonna play two Teddy Tolls. A second Teddy Toll has opened up right next to the other one. However, they're completely unrelated. They just happen to be em employ the same bear to work the booth, though. He's only got the one card to use. Okay, you get flipped, Sonny. Mario Party 4 was a lot of fun, yeah. I really like the boards in 4. 5, 6, and 7 were the ones that did, like, the orb mechanic. Let me see. Dude, I... You know, I could honestly do some streams while I'm thinking about it. I'd like the Mario Party single-player content, too. It'd be kind of tedious as hell, but why not? <laughs> okay, here comes that. Teddy Toll. Teddy Toll. And oh look, Astra's weak monster didn't protect us. Who saw that coming? They're running out of life points. Anyone notice Jaden didn't get the chance to summon anything? Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Oh, that's a big problem. <laughs> I have nothing left. Well, we're doomed. No. If only we had one more counter on that. He's only got just the Tyranno. We might have a chance. The Toll's chain, but not together like, like that. No. I can't flip up chain strike in the middle after two of them. Wait, what? He has no monsters either? Uh-oh. Oh, he's going for it. Wait, wait. Now they can't attack. That's actually enough. Yeah, we have a chance. No, we do not have a chance. <laughs> we do not have a chance. He drew the out, chat. He drew the out. Oh. The tolls were supposed to protect us. Instead, they put the bears out of business. Can you believe that? Ha! You're gonna have to do better than that. All right, we'll get him next time. Maybe ne not with you, though. Mushroom Man and Cycle of Life. Let's duel them. Come on, let's do it. Giant Trunade, my one weakness. Heavy Storm and Giant Trunade just delete my back row and suddenly my deck is gone. Tyranno has no love for prehistoric bears. These bears are civilized. They work a toll booth. 
I eat cookies all day and get paid for it. It's awesome. Enraged Battle Ox. Show us what you got, Pro Duelist Boy. Alright, that's what you got. Ooh, yeah, you sure showed him. Maybe use your card destruction to, like, get a better hand or something? No? No? Not gonna do that? Okay. You see what I gotta put up with? This man cannot duel him, him his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, now that we're in this situation, we'll put down these. Aster already ruined things, so I'm going all in with the double teddy tolls. Hmm. This thing can pierce, so we're probably better off just using Stealth Bird anyway. Ugh, even though Princess would hit with 2,000. Better wait until only as one? Damn it, never mind then. Well, too late. This is gonna hit him pretty hard. If only I had Chain Strike to go with it. Two thousand each. Okay, maybe I should have just set Princess of Sarugi. He, that would have finished him if he attacked this turn with it. But okay. Oh, he's tributing. Oh, that's not good. Aster, please. Please. What are you doing? Okay. This is about to get three, so we're okay. But this has... You do not deserve a destiny draw with that on the field. Get out of here. He's going for it. So much for getting Stealth Bird's effect, but okay. He can't declare an attack anymore. Oh. Well, look, chat, I win. Chain strike. Get beamed. Yeah, we did it. One with a little thing there. Nice. Now, when you say you've been playing speed duels, are you talking about, like, the speed duel, like, physical thing that Konami printed and released in recent years? Or are you talking about speed duels as in, like, the mechanic in the 5Ds games? It's like, there is, um... Or, you, or wait, there's also rush duels, which... Man, they need to pick some different names for these different styles, don't they? Let me see... I know that that one Rush Duel game on Switch is the only way you can play Rush Duels in English, because it's not printed in, in English at all, right? Is that game any good? Would that be worth streaming? I'm kind of curious about it. You meant Rush Duels. It's bad. Let's see. Let's talk to Sadie and buy some sandwiches. 500. Let's see. It's also in Duel Links. Okay. Does anyone play Duel Links anymore? I feel like that one kind of died. Uh, not Destiny Sandwich. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's get it. Nothing for you, Aster. I know that, like, Duel Links really exploded in popularity, and that's the bait. Duel Links is kind of the whole reason we even have stuff like Master Duel right now, or don't we? Because I think, like, it was just that successful for a good while. Okay, into the next heart we go. Hang on, I'm just fixing my headphones here. Yeah, yeah, eat it. Ugh. Hang on. My headphones are slipping off. I need to just actually take them off. 
Hang on, I see a card there. Can I get it? Ah, Tofu again. My draw game is not on point today, chat. Perfect. Nothing. Excellent. Chat, I don't actually know. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! at, like, uh, Series 8 or anything yet? Because, like, uh, Rush Duels was, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, right? The one And, and Vrains was 6. Let me see. Okay, keep going. I don't know what they're actually at, because I haven't paid attention to the animes in, like, an eternity. Okay, I got the plain sandwich. Calamity of the Wicked. Oh, Chimera Tech Overdragon. Cool. That's neat. They're currently on Series 8. Shallow Grave. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s never got dubbed or anything, right? Because I feel like Konami has just kind of kept that one mainly in Japan. Because they think kids just don't give a crap about Yu-Gi-Oh! in the West anymore. Oh, I see the gold. Yes! There we go. Okay. Do that. Sevens has a dub? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oops, let me get over there. I wonder, is it like, are they still doing like the four kidsification with it? And, it, and it's, like, airing on, like, TV over here somewhere. Because I know even Brains had, like, a very silly English dub. Yes, yes. All right, here's event number four. Let's take him out. That's it. Duel me. Aha, it's these two. I think Sevens ended in, like, 2022. Yu-Gi-Oh! is such a weird franchise that I don't understand how it's popular as I sit here continuing to play it. All I ever see is people complain about the card game, complain about the anime. Stuff never gets localized. Stuff never gets translated. Stuff never gets re-released. Stuff never gets reprinted. Also, it's the best thing ever. Let me spend a thousand more dollars on it. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! I think it's stream only in the U.S. <laughs> I know that Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains aired on, like, Teletoon over here in, um, Canada. I remember seeing it on the TV in the workroom when I was on break. Okay, he's starting with Rhoda. Diamond Dude. While people are complaining about it, the people who like it are playing it. Exactly. That's usually how things go. Okay, I'm gonna set down just desserts. And you know what? Aster, you're clogging my field, so I'm just gonna use your free MST and boop something back there. You did not just boop me back. How dare you? I wanted to boop his MST and he booped me with his. At least he didn't put the bear out of business. Diamond dude is diamond dude. You know what? I'm going for it. Okay. Okay, Chain Energy. Korea actually has Rush Duels. Don't people do the same for Pokemon? They do it for everything. Excellent. Never underestimate the power of the internet, or someone will spend their entire day online being mad about stuff that they have no desire to interact with anymore. Okay. Well, that covers that. I guess we can attack with him for free damage. That's always good. Poke him, Diamond Dude. Heavy Storm! Oh, you jerk. Well, we may as well do this. Goodbye, Mirror Force. Goodbye, Cylinder. At least he didn't have any monsters. Okay, he's got... Oh, he got his draw? That's sick. He needs to set that um, Ring of Destruction, though. 
he didn't use a summon. Set the ring and the D. Excellent. Not every Digimon game has been getting it translated either, yeah. I don't know the state of the Digimon anime. Honestly, I really want to sit down and just, like, marathon anime, like Digimon, all the Yu-Gi-Ohs and all that, again. Like, like I did when I was a teenager. I have, like, no real time for anime. The last thing I did was I watched some of Zexel, but I put it, I stopped and put it down for a bit when I got, like, uh, injured. And then I watched, like, the first 50 episodes of One Piece and I was enjoying it, but I just haven't gotten back to it yet. Let me do this. I don't know. Maybe it's because I prefer to watch stuff with people. There we go. But like, I, I, like, chat, I'm old now. All my friends, you know, they're busy. We can only, like, make time to hang out, like, once a week if we're lucky. That's just life now, right? Um, hang on. We can flip you up. What am I doing? That is your sign to go out there, Mr. Streamer. Get yourself... New friends to watch stuff with all day. Um, Hang on, we're gonna go for the attack and then we're gonna flip the ring. Okay. 700. 1400. See, I'm the type of person, I have to hyper fixate on something stupid for a while, and then I need someone to like info dump all of the stupid stuff on. But see, the thing about streaming is I ha I'm more limited with that because I don't want to spoil crap, right? I don't want to just watch a bunch of stuff and then spoil massive plot twists for people that may or may not be watching it, right? Excellent. Sweet, that was an awesome duel. This cannot be. How can we brothers have lost? What am I reading this for? I've read it like 10,000 times already. Excellent. Perfect. The store is closed at this hour, right? But is there anyone here to duel? They're chilling in the back here with these two. I've dueled you once, Damon, and I haven't seen your level one. Let's try it. We unlocked him because of the Hassleberry event. I can't remember. Does Damon have Exodia now? I dueled him once, and I don't think he had a win condition still. He just, like, drew cards, and that was it. Oh my god, he's just, he's just Destiny Heroes. Lord's Edict A. Destiny Drawl. Nice. Why did you put that in attack mode, Aster? Why did you put that in attack mode? It's your first damn turn, buddy. Oh, gee whiz. I wonder how this could have been avoided. We had to take that 800 damage. It was so necessary. What's he called? Helping Robo for combat. Okay. Now let's do this. Let's set down my wave motion cannons. What is, like, what is Aster doing? He's not helping. That's what he's not. Do That's how I know what he's not doing. Okay. I suppose I could put you in attack mode and give you the D chain. First, let's activate this. Do I even have any normal spell cards in my deck? I don't remember. They're all continuous or something. Get that small amount of burn damage. Let's go. can't spell ast sorry you can't spell disaster without aster that's funny i like that lilac that's great <laughs> put that one on a shirt d aster oh that's even better that's even better you see that's pretty much all we can do end turn This is getting flipped up. I'm gonna put this up now. Hit him for that funny foam dark damage. 1400. How 
How did this man beat Zane? Good question. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Is he really gonna try that? I'm gonna go for that. Hit you for a thousand and let you take this, and the wave motion cannons will be the end of your misery. Sixteen hundred. Hey, Aster, play the motion cannons. Play, play the two motion cannons. Play the two motion cannons, then use the heavy storm to take back Diamond Dude. Aster? 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 Mm, okay. Okay. Never mind. The pro's got a plan, everybody. We take no battle damage, at least. Lucky Pied Piper. Golly gee whiz. I can't imagine how we could have avoided this. At least I can just finish him with the cannons now. Since he won't. I don't care. We'll do this, just in case. Now we can go for 4,000. This man's brain operates on a whole other level. Yeah. 544, not bad. I know really trying that time. You want to go again? He, our win. Let's keep it up. Okay, we got some more dual points. Not bad. Oh, it's gonna be tournament day tomorrow. That's this is a good chance to um. Oh wait a second, I hit four hearts, so that means he's gonna give me the chance to edit his deck now. But well, I don't think I can do that before the tournament starts, can I? Does that mean everyone will have their level two decks already for the tourney? It's morning. You going? You know to the dual tournament? Yeah. Chat, I gotta... I'm gonna go in with Aster and Teddy Tool, and I'm gonna take that championship. I'm playing Teddy Tool for the ne next while, apparently. Does everyone have level 2? Blowing Cloud, Neo Spatians. Yeah, everyone's got their level 2 decks now. So everyone's got an upgrade, and I can't even edit Aster's yet. Yeah, not unlocked. Well... <sighs> Let's start with you two. Oh, this will be a frickin' disaster. Duel. We can't check his deck yet, apparently, until after the tournament day. Because, um, usually he gives you the op- Your partners give you the option to edit their deck in the morning. Or rather, they give you a message telling you you unlock that. And I don't think it stacks with the tournament dialogue, so you have to wait for a different day for it to prompt. The only thing worse than Destiny Heroes seems to be, like, early wave Neo Spatians, right? They had Grand Mole and nothing else. At least he opened with Malicious. And he, then he drew Malicious. Come on. He got three Diamond Dudes. He needs them. Now play the Diamond Dude. What? 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 what huh? Did he just throw away three diamond dudes? He did. He did. Oh, but don't worry, he's got his clock tower out. Chat, what the hell was that? What was that? What was that play? <laughs> he discarded everything that his his deck is not supposed to discard. He didn't even summon them. Yeah, that's great. Great, good job, bro. Good freaking job. All right, better off starting with you. If they get a big beat stick on board, we'll hit him with the Ring of Destruction, let the motion cannon charge. Hang on, if I revive... I could revive Diamond Dew, but he's useless to me. If I revive you, I get two cards, and that could be good for me. I might be better off letting Aster do that, though, or saving it for next turn. Because what if I get Heavy Stormed right now? What are they going to do for me? I'll wait a turn. Mm-hmm. He straight up skipped his normal summon. Yeah, he did. 
What a genius. Okay, let her get 800. Oh, no. Well, so much for that. This is where the mummy says goodbye. 600. Take you below the starting. Go to the championship tournament with Aster, he says. Aster, what the hell's the matter with you? And you put the mummy in attack? <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you do This is a sabotage, chat. This is an absolute sabotage. I demand a new partner right now. Go, 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 good job, Aster. Good job. L let, let's have a round of applause for the pro duelist, everybody. Look, look at him. Look at him go. Look at this man throw. Oh, is it my turn? Sorry, I didn't think we'd get this far with him him playing. Oh, well, chain energy's not sure as hell not gonna help me now, huh? This is gonna remove a monster from me. Well, we're screwed. I can't revive Disc Commander for the draw. Chain energy will just kill me faster, so let's not do that. Yeah, getting burned. Does it doesn't matter, we can't win now. Aster made damn sure of that. <laughs> May as well just ring a destruction fire princess, I guess. Ugh. Even without D heroes, what the hell is Astra cooking? If you pull the comeback, I'll apologize, but you, yep. <laughs> you are so bad at this, dude. Oh, you're so freaking bad. Mm hmm. Honestly, you're right. Blast Fear could have beaten over the Fire Princess. It probably would have been safe if I put in attack mode. I already gave up. Oh, well, it's too late. I kind of forgot Blast Fear even had an attack stat. Too late. Sure. Now I'm the one who fumbled chat. Oh. Alright then. Maybe. Maybe. I shouldn't have set the damn Blast Sphere. I should have just attacked with it, yeah. Alright. It's up to you, Aster. Come on. He's gonna put the princess in attack mode, though. No. Well, too late now. We put Double Dude down. The moment they flip up that princess, we pretty much lose. Let's do this. Wall of Revealing Light. Well, damn. There goes our chance to deal with that. Ugh. I need to hope that Aster can just get, like, Dogma or something out, man. Never mind. It's over. Nope. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, we lost. Man, just put a monster in attack mode with Injection Fairy Lily on the field. That's good. I maintain Blast Fear would not have saved anything. Oh, well, we lost the tournament. That is 99% Astra's fault still. <laughs> that was one of the worst plays I've ever seen him make, ever. Normally a pro wouldn't show anyone his deck, but can you edit my deck to be compatible with yours? Thank goodness. What does he have? What's in yellow? He has 42 cards in here. 
Okay, Malicious, Disc Commander, Dogma, and Destiny Drawl, and Dasher. Okay, chat. How about we play Heroes with our boy here? How about we play Heroes? Let's do that. Let's get rid of all the D-Heroes, because he can't be trusted with them anymore, clearly. No more Dreadmaster. Um, you can keep one Diamond Dude as a treat. Hmm. He can still keep Crush Card, actually. That might work. It's gonna be crusty, but it's gonna be better than whatever the hell he was doing before. Okay, keep that. D counter. No, 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 no. Let let's show let's show him how it's done. Let's show him how this works, chat. Okay, he's got Rhoda in here, premature burial, pot of avarice. I feel like that can go, because we're gonna use miracle fusion. Gonna get rid of D. Don't need this. Look at that. Half the deck is gone, chat. Okay. Terraforming. Yeah, does he need this? We can just use Captain Gold instead. But first, let's get e let's get the E heroes set up here, why don't we? We're gonna make sure we get a. Hang on, we need a Spark Man. Let me see. There he is. Maybe a Clay Man too. We're gonna need the King of the Swamps for sure. Let's do it. He'd throw away Exodia if I gave him that. Yeah, you know he would. I ain't gonna give him Exodia. That's not gonna work in the tag duel. We can't share pieces anyway. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Give him a Stratos. Give him a Heat. Give him two of these. One of these. Give him an Ocean. I should give him Neo, Neo Bubble Man for the lulls. Take one of those. Two of those. Give him a Blade Edge. Lady Heat. I don't think we got room for her this time, I'm afraid. Okay. Now, where is King of the Swamp? King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp. There it is. I think we should run this sucker at three. three two copies of Polly. Do I want him to give him Marshmallow as well? I don't know. His deck size is going to be a bit of a hassle here, though, for sure. Let's go get the fusions. Hang on. Miracle fusion, miracle fusion... I don't think he needs card destruction. That's not going to help for him. Miracle fusion, miracle fusion, miracle fusion. There's the mallet. Metamorphosis is at two. He's got his MST. Yeah, give him two poly. He's got a premature burial in there. Miracle fusion. I pass it. There it is. Two. Get rid of this. Do I want to give him Crush Card still for the memes? I kind of want to, because the cards he's forced to keep are ones that work for that. Um, I feel like he doesn't need Terraforming. That means I gotta give him sky Skyscraper, though. Maybe I should keep him... Since he's already bloated anyway, I think I should keep the Field Spell out of his deck. So let's take Captain Gold away from him. What else should I give him here? Hello, friends. Welcome. How you doing? Hmm... Marine Neos is a bad card. Uh, at least you can summon Marine Neos, that's true. There's no Vision Heroes yet, no. That's like, I, I think they're in Tag Force 3. Absolutely for 4, but they're manga characters, right? Or manga cards? What else do I need? What else do I need? I should probably give them a Swords, I don't know. Chat, so we're, we're editing Aster's uh, Krusty Destiny Hero deck to play Heroes with me. Because he can't be trusted to play heroes properly. Um, I think he needs a copy of Bersinitrix to make Flame Wingman. I gotta add the extra deck. That's what I gotta do. Hang on. Uh, let's go all the way back up here. The problem with Marine Neos, if, I, if I'm thinking it's the right card here, um... Marine Neos is the one whose name counts as Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, so therefore you can't run it in the extra deck without it taking up a slot for in your main deck, right? Or being that you can only play uh, two copies of Aqua Dolphin or something. Put Stratos in, that's the big boy. Um, what the hell did I go up here for? Burstinatrix, Burstinatrix, that's right. 
We got the King of the Swamps. Okay, now let me get the extra deck monsters. Why don't I? Do I have any trap cards? What trap cards does he have? Ring of Destruction, Crush card. Yeah, those are pretty fine. Keeping it at 40 so he doesn't go overboard. Ugh, let me get a drink here. Marine Dolphin requires you to use Nex. Oh, I need a drink there. We should actually have some fun with this. Ah, oh, here they are. Okay, there's no reason not to just, like, go to town here. He can run three copies of everything, huh? Give him a two, two of those, two of these. We do, we're limited to, like, three co- or, sorry, 30 copies of the deck, right? Okay, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. You know what, let's give him his Phoenix Enforcer, see if he summons those two. Why not? Give him Mudball Man. Two of these. I don't think he can, he can technically make this. I don't think he should, but I'll put it in anyway. Give him the Shining Flare Wingman. Run this at three, because we can possibly get away with cheesing it out more. Tempest. Did I put them all in? That's the most common one, so I should put more of that in. Am I missing? Oh, I didn't put Electrum in. Hang on. Hang on. We don't need multiple Terra Firma, because that's pretty, pretty ass. No, hang on. Let's, let's not pretend this card's coming out. <laughs> and put that in, because we can. Okay, this looks acceptable for what we can do. The cards marked in yellow means I can't take them out. Are you ready, chat? To play Heroes? Wild Wingman. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, get it. Return. Yep, okay. And now I'm going to change. We played Teddy Toll for the past hour, so this is fine. People really like the Teddy Toll deck. They can watch me play it for like a billion hours and not get bored of it. <laughs> and we can play new versions every game too. Isn't that nice? Um, load recipe now. Yeah, here's my hero deck. Hang on, my fusion deck has 29. Should I put in an extra copy of something? Uh, do I not have multiple copies of Shining Flare? I should put those in. Let me see. Let me just go down to it then. Come on. Where is it? Oh, I do have an extra copy now. Let me slide that in. Steam healer is not getting used. Let's not pretend it will. Okay, that should be fine. Thank you, Chrono Warrior, for seven months. You're here for the cozy times and the memes. Good. All right. Let's find someone to test this out on. Not you two. I hate dueling the teachers. They know what they're doing. Unlike Aster. Um, Cherry and Mushroom Man? You know what? Why the hell not? Let's do it. Get cozy, or else. Oh, uh, hang on. Yo-Yo, are you still here? We remember when we were talking about sub-goals? You know what one we forgot about for doing a replay? Reshuffle Destruction. Maybe I should make that a goal. Because I've been teasing the idea of replaying that with using, like, the PNG tuber or something. Um, That would be perf a perfect incentive, because lots of people would really want that to happen sooner. Okay, he's immediately summoning. He's doing a good job. Because another Yu-Gi-Oh! playthrough is going to happen eventually anyway, right? Let's see. He's going for the panda. He's immediately killing. We can do this. Pyramid of Light. Well, well, well. It appears I'm in a good situation, chat. 
What do I have in my graveyard? I spy with my little eye, Shining Flare Wingman. In that game, the hard one? Yes, but it's stupid popular to watch. That old series I did of playing it is like, was really fun. Let's see. Perfect. Maybe one of these days I should make an incentive for trying to speedrun something. Let me see. This will protect it. I don't think I want to put all my cards down. Do I want to set you... Honestly, I feel like Astra could make use of it. These should be safe in my hand. I'm gonna pretend that'll work, yeah. No problem. I've never attempted a serious speedrun, but I've been watching so many videos about speedrunning, a part of me kind of wants to. You know? You ever watch, like, a Summoning Salt video, and then you're like, damn, I want to be like that. I want to be that guy that, like, saves two seconds in Mario 64. Okay, no problem here. It's just Muyan Curry. He's bringing that thing back. Let's go ahead and use the bottomless trap hole. Perfect. All right. Um, don't need to do that. Submit Destiny Tower video. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could always try the Purity Forest speed run. Whom is the only other person who's done it though? We're like the only two people like uploading videos of Purity Forest clears anyway, right? Probably not the only two people at this point, but I think. Hang on, I'm sure there's people that have more clears than me, but Hooms got way more clears because he, he literally speedruns Mystery Dungeon games. And does, like, weekly attempt days, for sure. Okay, this is going much better than it was before, for sure. Yes, Aster's actually playing good because I gave him good cards. I took out the clock tower and all that crap. Look at him go! I made had to make him bootleg Jaden. Okay. Let's do that. Dude, I love I love speedrun videos that like break down specific stuff. You know what I mean? I haven't barely fought him. Um, I love watching like a 20 minute video that breaks down like a very specific like setup in Mario Kart 64. That stuff is just so funny to me. I mean, you guys have seen my videos on the Yellow Channel. Of course I love that crap. Uh, yeah, I gave Astra E heroes. We got to four hearts so I could edit his deck. You know, should actually be fun to play with now. Let's do it. Uh oh. Okay. Actually, not a bad setup. De actually, Destiny Draw is actually working really well with setting up the miracles, maybe. Too bad he can't, like, fusion summon with this specific one. Did he set Wild Heart? I guess Wild Heart has defense, to be honest. It's fine. But... Aw, oh, man! Also, he put Malicious in attack mode again. That's still... That's still not good. Never mind. Never take it back. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and get Stratos. Okay, there's two cards back there. Hmm. Do I want Stratos to do the thing? Hmm. Actually... Let's do this. Activate that. Get that. Now Miracle can work to make you... Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, let me see here. One spell card tree. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Because you know what discarding's gonna do, chat? It's gonna set up Astra for his miracle fusions. Not really, though. There's not much there.
Dust Tornado. You little jerk. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna say I won't need the poly. I'm going so minus for this, but- Oh, you little jerk! <laughs> okay. Apparently, I should have made the other one. I was worried those were going to be battle traps, because these two are higher level opponents. All right, then. Fine. I should have searched something to discard, to be honest. That's okay. Too late now. Okay. Here's what we're going to do now. Activate this. match, so this is still fine. We got the protection in case we need it. This is still was still was okay. It's too bad he didn't have battle traps. Because I was I was hoping I could get rid of those and it would look smart, but it looks all he did was flip him up anyway into something usable. But obviously I couldn't have known that, so I wasn't gonna risk making Wild Edge to hit everything. Oh you little jerk. Well, that sucks. The skyscraper is gonna have to be what saves us now. Dude. He really just bricked, didn't he? Oh, he- Yes, he knew! He knew! He knew to discard King of the Swamp for this. He knew. I'm so proud of him. Oh. Oh. Chad, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. What are you doing? Oh, he's making another one. <laughs> this is how you play like a pro. Oh yeah, Malicious is here too. If I have Mirror Force. Oh, if he would have flipped up a Mirror Force, I would have cried. I would have actually burst into tears. Do you see what happens when you give Aster good cards? This is proof that his deck is trash. Like, look at him go after these edits. Oh, nice. Protection. Malicious, hold this cup. Alright, um... Probably a safe bet that Heat can break this. Enrage Battle Ox. Malicious can beat up this goat. Damn. He was just a good player running a D-Hero challenge run. King of the Swamp is so fun with Miracle Fusion. Genuinely just so much fun to do that. It's just a free freaking fusion thing. It's funny how the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! are the ones that, like, skip the rules. Like, a card's like, you can only fuse with this monster, and this card's like, I can be this monster. You don't have to, you don't have to actually follow that rule anymore. Let's see, that's like anything that's meta, right? Anything that ignores the normal rules basically just is what's good. That's how weird the game is. Nice duel, though. See, this is much more fun now that he has stuff we can do. Even Jaden never summoned two like that before. Two Shining Flare Wingmans, I mean. Okay, Mausoleum, burning away. Let's go for it. Hurry it up. Haha. <laughs> Took a Slifer Red to edit his deck to make him an actual pro. Hey, chat, I... This is, like, part 23 or something. I'm... I'm more qualified to be more than a Slifer Red, I think. Hmm. At least his favorite cards are no Jamas, so yeah. The Destiny Heroes actually do let him draw stuff, which is good. Or possibly discard something to... Help set up from uh, Miracle? No, he has to discard a Destiny Hero, so it doesn't matter. Why does he keep putting Malicious in attack mode turn one? That's a still a bad idea. Good job, bro. Messenger of Peace. Well, that sucks. I don't have Malicious, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'd say Heavy Storm is justified now, even though he put down Swords. He keeps setting swords instead of playing it. Uh-oh. That sucks. 
Well, so much for that. So much for him. Hmm. That's the case. I'm gonna have to wait until I have monsters on board, then play Stratos next turn to pop his back row. So for now, we'll just summon Captain Gold as a high attack power deterrent. And attack his Messenger of Peace, so we'll end here. He's gonna pay life points, but that's not gonna do a whole lot for me. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. I hope he gets a heavy storm now. Contribute up to pyrotite monsters. Well, wait, what? Did he just like... Oh, he did play it. Nice. He did get heavy storm. Honestly, this is fine, yeah. Except it got rid of Captain Gold, which is a little eh. Oh, look, you put it in defense mode. Good job, buddy. Are you serious, Aster? Come on, man! I just... I just complimented you! <laughs> Why does he keep doing this? That can't be on the field! Without Skyscraper, and you got rid of the Skyscraper, remember? Remember? Oh, well, let's add a card to my hand. Which one should I take? I feel like I'm gonna need something to defend soon. Take Clayman just in case. Maybe I could Thunder Giant my way out if I draw the right stuff. Don't really have a choice, but to just kind of poke him now with uh, Stratos. Okay, Fire Princess. It's whatever. Dude, I hate... In this game, there are so many players that don't know... Or, uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, he played Gores. I'm definitely negating that. Yeah, let's get out of here. There we go. There's a lot of, like, cards that have conditions that destroy them. Let me see... Okay. And they just, like, pop their own monsters stupidly. Dude, just... Wh what are you doing? Put the desk commander down. We got goaded again, chat. Well, he put it down, at least. Okay. We could maybe get the heat. I say I should put disc commander in attack mode, just to, like... Poke one of the goats, maybe. No, it's too low attack power. My life points are kind of low. I shouldn't risk it. Bait the battle traps. Gravity binds. Yep, there it is. There it is. Esther's plays make Teddy Ursus cry. Get mirror forced. Can attack. At least he a dogma is gonna. Wait, what? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, then. Okay, then. <laughs> we actually got Dogma out in this deck, and bam. Yeah, you know what? Just put the C Spire. Take some damage, you jerk. Put down Blade Edge and attack the goats. Oh, wait, you can't. Because of, um... The Gravity Binds. We need to get rid of Gravity Binds so we can attack. But Blade Edge on the field is good. Oh? Okay, this is actually good. This is actually good. We'll summon Sparkman. Chat, are you ready? It's comeback time. Chat, I was genuinely impressed with Aster, and he had to go ahead and ruin it with the small brain plays again. Okay, be gone, Nate. Oh, I hate that card. Good thing we got rid of it. If he would have flipped that up, Blade Edge would have been bounced back, and we'd be super vulnerable again. I gotta get rid of Fire Princess before she passively burns me. Okay, let's end the turn here. Hang on. 
Dang, we got a lot of people here. The streams have been doing pretty nicely. I don't, like, watch the view the view count like a hawk or anything like that, but, like, it's just nice to kind of see, like, a lot of people show up for the streams lately. They've been doing nice and good. The PNG tuber doesn't have, like... it. I noticed that, like, it doesn't, like, make the views low or anything either. I was kind of worried about that. People would think the anime in the corner would be cringe, but everyone seems to love it. So I'm pretty, pretty glad I took that risk. Let's see... I've still been getting sent a bunch of fan art, too, which is so nice. Lots of people love the design. And we win. That was nice. Oh, pardon me. I feel like I'm holding back a sneeze there all of a sudden. Hmm. You're pretty good. Don't get carried away, huh? Pretty busy guy, but never turned down a duel. We accepted your cringe years ago. Hey! It's fine. Aliens. Aliens 2. Bugs World. You know what? Let's duel them. They sound like an annoying combo, but we got coverage now. It's a nice design. Thank you. I'm happy with how it turned out. Oh, boy. Again, not going to use it for every single game, but I'm sure as hell going to shoehorn it into ones that I think would make it more fun. Like when I play Recharged Yellow, I want to specifically use the PNG tuber for that. I mean, I'm probably going to use it for a lot of Pokemans now, anyway. Kind of just been using the Blaze Black playthrough as a bit of a guinea pig for testing stuff out. Alien Hunter. Okay. Take that. Oh, this is good. Woodsman gives us an extra Holly from the deck. Okay. I can make Thunder Giants. And I can discard you to get myself Skyscraper. We can use this to bait an MST or something. Oh, look who called it. Hmm. Can use the Poly on the field to make Thunder Giants. I could use Righteous Justice, honestly, to pop one that one card there, because if it's a battle trap, it would ruin my whole play. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Pop that. Oh, it was, oh that yeah, that was perfect. They, I did not want Thunder Giant getting ringed, so... Now we'll do this. Not Rampart Blaster, no chance in hell. And you, we can discard Necro Shade. By the way, discarding Necro Shade is great because that way we can both summon our Blade Edge without having to worry about tribute. Some of the alien cards do look cool, but they're pretty ass. Discard a card. I feel like. Should I leave this in defense mode? Or do I want the extra 1,000? Because letting Aster mill another poly is probably really good for him. Oh, wait. I can also normal summon you. I kind of forgot that. You know what? I'll leave Woodsman there. He'll probably attack. You know what? What the hell? Let's go for it. YOLO strats, everybody. Go hit him. Sometimes I forget vampire is an archetype because there's barely any vampire cards, right? Let's do it. All right, we popped him with everything. Can she do anything? This is her first turn, by the way. Uh-oh. She's going for it, all right. Well, so much for preserving those two. Uh-oh. Well then, this is fine. I don't mind. They're almost dead from the damage we did. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> oh, we got played. Oh, that's all you're gonna do? Oh, man. Well, he doesn't really have anything else, right? Dang, creature swap. And this why creature swap is limited. I need a mirror force. That's a Stratos. 
Premature burial is linked to you. Hmm. This is gonna work. <laughs> I could call a hero, but it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, we've, we've pretty much lost. That's really unfortunate. That wasn't Astra's fault. That was just they drew the out. They drew all the outs right there. Can't special summon any of these now, can I? Well. If only I had Skyscraper and still do. Wait, no. I don't... I only have one Captain Gold in there, right? Because I didn't see him on the list. I already used him. Damn. Let me see. Yeah. We got forced anyway. God damn. Oh well. Too bad. We're dead. You lose. Your life points have been reduced to zero. Destroyed by my own Thunder Giant. That was going so well, too. We're not doing so hot. We can do better. Ruling Light, Flying Fairies. Let's duel you two, then. Gotta get going for a couple hours. Enjoy the rest of the stream. No problem, Nameless. See you later. Lose. Win. Hug a teddy. First to go. Second to go. Say Dina. That name? We're the Destiny Bears, now we're just Elemental Bears again. There's my one Captain Gold. Okay, he's using that. This is good, this is good. Now I can open with an extra poly. Yes. Select a card to add. And, yeah, we'll activate this, because we want to bait the MST, and also just have Skyscraper in general. So let's do this. Throw you down. You're good for defending right now. Hmm. Do I want to search something that can fuse and beat stuff? Hmm. Or do I want to pop one random card back there and hope for the best? I feel like I should save Stratos. Because there's three cards right there. I feel like I'm better since we have Woodsman to defend. Just throw down Heat and see if I can just like... Or better yet, I could use Burstinatrix because of Skyscraper. Try and attack him just to bait the battle traps for now. I don't have something I can fuse and I, I'm worried they're going to just ruin everything. Okay, no battle traps. That's good. Let's see what they do. Tribute. Um. Don't need to pay. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Special summon this card, but tribute in dark. Uh, sorry, Air Knight, Parshath. Drain a battle between this. Okay, then. That's annoying, but that's okay. Don't need to pay 4,000 to stop it. Okay, get your extra fusion. Aster's gonna do it, everybody. Aster is gonna absolutely do it. Come on. Aster knows what he's doing. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. He knows what he's doing. He's an absolute god duelist. God gamer. Damn. That mirror force wasn't there last time. Well... That's what we get. Well, the mirror force is gone. Can I make a comeback now? Okay, righteous justice. That's good. Hmm. I can summon Stratos. Do a search. Skyscraper to beat over you. And righteous justice would allow me to basically just beat, um... Destroy one of these here, just in case. Do this. No, don't do that. 
Add a designated card to my hand. Yes, sir. -y. Who do I want to take? Who do I want to take? I feel like Wild Heart would be okay right now. Maybe Spark Man in case of that, but eh. Maybe Clay. I have Woodsman to defend already, so you know what? I'll just take you. Now we can only do this with one. Wasn't really a combo I could take to fuse there. Except Terra Firma, but the problem with Terra Firma is that the partner tributes everything to Buffet, even if it's useless. So it's a double-edged sword that's not worth. I'm better off just popping one card here. It was Mystic Walk. Okay. Now we've done that. I'm gonna use Skyscraper to beat over you. Don't flip up another Mirror Force, you jerk. Okay, and now we're good. Turn Endo. He's going Premature Burial. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we're gonna shut that down. We are shutting that down. I'm gonna be at low life points, but I can't let him bring that out. He's gonna kill me and just attack for game. Okay, Aster, don't blow it. He's gonna he's gonna make us lose with Ring of Destruction. Did he not normal summon? Uh-oh. He did main phase too. Oh no. No, 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 no. At least he can't make us lose with um Ring of Destruction anymore. Uh-oh. Well, we may have just lost. Uh-oh. Don't worry, he set Diamond Dude, everybody. Yeah, Destiny Draw. Lightning Vortex. Are they immune? Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Probably ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, here's what we can do then. I'll use Lightning Vortex. And you know what? I'll put you in the graveyard. And we will set Elemental Hero Woodsman to defend. We can still do this. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Everybody hold up your teddies to send me your energy. I Destiny Draw, so, you know, I cheated already, but that's okay. Well, damn. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's over. He's tributing. Uh-oh. Yeah, game over. Chat, you did not hold up your teddies enough. Come on. <laughs> I win. Every now and then, I can play a good duel. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn diddly. Let's go buy some sandwiches, why don't we? At least we're playing... We're having a lot more fun with heroes, for sure. We're about to go to the dungeon. We can do that for a bit. Because I've been do playing almost two hours. Damn. Yu-Gi-Oh! Day goes by so fast. It's such a fun time. Even though I did go slightly longer than expected with yesterday's stream. Recovering from being sick, so... It, f it feels pretty nice to distract yourself. Okay. Tofu sandwich. I don't know if I'll get the gold. I want to at least just get stuff to uh, boost his hearts. We're going to go to class shortly. Time flies when Aster is fumbling. Yes, sir. Do you think Aster could even win in Duelist Kingdom with his OG deck? I'm not convinced. Don't see anything there. I don't think he liked Jam. Nope. I guess it's okay. Nothing. All right, come on again. And really there either. All right. That's one's okay. That'll be enough for now. Hang on. I didn't save the changes I made to the hero deck. Let's see. Let me just do that. Let's 
save to this. And we're gonna load recipe. We're gonna get out the other hero deck, the dungeon hero deck. And we're gonna go to class now. And see if we can just get some XP from... Not really XP, but dual points, just from chilling down there. Slowly getting to level 41. Does getting past level 40 even do anything else? I don't feel like it does. Well, duh, you gotta go to class, you know. Such an arrogant ass. Enter the basement. Maybe I can get to floor 100. I love how you can see the lines where the arc gets cut. Okay. That'll do. I thought it was level 40 that everything unlocked. Not 45, but who cares anymore? Let's just play the video game and have a good time. Whoopsie. Hop in here, have a little fun. This is like a little Mario Party mini game like itself, ain't it? Pumpkin, a uh, pump king of ghosts. All right, that's a card that sucks. It's probably best to start with Sparks in case he has like a negate. We get a good amount of dual points. Like we after a, a dungeon session, we get like a whole whopping like two sandwiches worth of points. Nice. Perfect. We made it. Yay. By the way, I forgot to ask this earlier, but like we were talking about dungeon dice monsters briefly, right? Owl of luck. Um, does anyone ever play the physical dungeon dice monster board game? Like, cause I know that like they made it, but it flopped really badly and they just kind of stopped right after that. It's not like the video game from what I understand. That, no, no. I, th I think it's super expensive now, because obviously it's not in print. I wonder if it was any fun. Horse back? Oh, that sucks. Well, there goes my normal summon. Can finish him off, though. Didn't know they made a physical one, to be honest. Yeah, apparently, like, they tried to hype it up, but, um, it did very poorly, and then they just can quickly discontinued it. Even, like, um, I'm pretty sure, like, not even, J it didn't even do well in Japan either. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. They're level four, so they got higher points now. I mean, the anime, they only did it for, like, a two-episode special, basically. And then Duke Devlin was just like, yeah, I'm here. I'm Duke Devlin. I exist. I'm occasionally here for this episode. Hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of burning lands. I can ruin a whole bunch of teddy bear picnics with that. Can't be stopped, chat. Can't be stopped. Let's take that. Oopsie. Well, people play other games in the anime world, I would imagine. You never know. Unless every- I, maybe everyone only plays Duel Monsters, because why not? <laughs> it was four episodes, actually. Well, okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! had some annoying filler for, like, a couple episodes. After, like, Duelist Kingdom, they just kind of messed around with other characters. And before Battle City started. Remember, they also- that was when they showed off that character, Rebecca. Rebecca is such a weird character. Because, like, she shows up, and she's, like, this little girl, and she has a teddy bear, and she talks through the teddy bear, and then she comes back, like, a season later, and all of a sudden, she's just, like, like a genius. And she has glasses, and she doesn't have, like, um... She doesn't have the teddy anymore. It's so weird. Why'd they do that? <laughs> like, did she just, like... <laughs> It's like she, like, aged by, like, a few years in, like, the span of Battle City, but everyone else is the same age. 
me see. Is Rebecca entirely filler? Was she just not in, like, the manga or anything? I don't know. I know she was in one of the video games, Destiny Boar Traveler. You could play as her and her teddy. Excellent. She was a little brat the whole damn time. Yeah, you're right. She basically is kind of like what they did with Blair in GX. She comes back after, like, a season, and she's suddenly a few years older. There we go. She's anime only. Okay. Let's go. Go down. Go up that way. That's a lot of opponents. Let's do this, and we'll go ahead and put a ladder near the top. Go, go, go. All the way to the top. Her father only appeared in the manga as a single photograph, as Grandpa's friend from America who gave him the blue eyes, but no, Rebecca and Arthur never appeared in the manga. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I can just win with this. Filler, filler arcs in Yu-Gi-Oh! are so weird. A lot of filler is. Like, the whole Noah season, the only reason that happened in the middle of Battle City is because at the time... The anime was catching up to the manga too quickly, so they just needed to make the characters screw around with something while the manga chapters slowly released and caught up. Like, the fact that it ha all that happens in the middle of Battle City is so hilarious to me. Like, it's such a, like, weird decision, but I understand why they did it. Let's see. Down the ladder. Let me see. Guess we can immediately win with this. You know, it'll be fine. I'll do it. Deal damage. You win! There are a lot of random Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, though. Like, that that couple episode arc where they're in a virtual virtual world basically inspired the whole False Bound Kingdom game. Even though they're nothing alike. Well, he did that now. Let's go ahead and hit him for some damage and then hit him for some more. Okay, he can't stop me. I basically win. 800. You win! I don't even remember what the Kaiba Corps Grand... Where, where does, like, the Kaiba Corps Grand Prix take place? That's the one where, like, the pink-haired, like, French guy is the villain, right? That was anime-only filler, but I don't remember. I think that was the arc that took place before they finally went back to, like, ancient Egypt or whatever. Dude, I need to... I, I need to just watch all of you original Yu-Gi-Oh! at some point. know when it takes place. I know it takes place at Kaiba Land. It takes place right after Waken the Dragons. Yeah, Waken the Dragons was also also filler. The dragon cards are pretty like utter garbage though, right? <laughs> like, which is a shame because have you ever seen like Dark Magician Girl Dragon Knight? Like that is such an adorable design and I wish that card wasn't trash. Like, it's so funny how she has this full suit of armor on, and helmet on her upper body, but for her legs, she just has nothing but a skirt. And it's like, <laughs> good luck on the battlefield with that one, girl. Oh, boy. And down we go. Let me see. Go over here. Go over there. Okay. Third from the last... Do that right here. That filler gave us Mirror Force Dragon. One of the best things, though, to come out of Awaken the Dragons is there's a line for Kaiba. Like, when he, like, because the thing is with him with Critias is, like, he fused Critias to, um, hang on a second. Oh, that's a, that's an annoying card for me. 
I'm gonna have to finish him with the trap cards then. Hmm. Actually, this will also work. And yeah, for Kaiba, one of the things he does is like he fuses like Critias with like the Crush Card virus or Mirror Force. Wait, what? Oh, they hit zero first, so the heal didn't matter. I was confused about that. There was like a scene where Kaiba fuses Critias with Mirror Force. And, um, like his opponent Alistair is just like, you can't fuse a monster with a trap card. And Kaiba's just like, I just did. And then he plays it anyway. It's like, holy crap. He's freaking Seno Kaiba. Seno Kaiba just really did that. Earthbound Spirit. There we go. Kaiba is such a horrible human being, though. <laughs> Especially in, like, the OG manga before, like, the card game stuff was happening. Like, he was just straight up murdering people and threatening to murder Yugi and his friends if he didn't, like, give him that damn blue eyes. The first episode just, like, completely cuts out all that when they started focusing only on the dual monster stuff. Deal damage. Pre-card Yu-Gi-Oh! is so unhinged, absolutely. Oh yeah. I, I do remember that part with Kaiba where, um... I think one of the villains is using, like, one of Yugi's friends as a shield. And Kaiba, like, is like, no, Kaiba, you can't attack me. You wouldn't want to ruin the lives of this person. And Kaiba's like, I'm the CEO of a billion dollar company. I do that every day. And he attacks anyway. Gosh, damn. Oh, boy. Well, there goes ground collapse. I'm gonna win with this anyway. That's right. Kaiba does get better after Yugi just kind of, like, uh, breaks his freaking mind <laughs> with the mind crush. Remember the mind crush? That was supposed to be, like, the big staple thing that Yugi does. Like, when he beats them in a game, the Pharaoh gives them a mind crush, and they become, like, a better person because he removes, like, the evil from his heart. And then, like, in the dual monster stuff, he just stops doing that. He just stops after a little bit. <laughs> he goes from a murderer to just kind of an asshole. Yeah, he does. Oh, did I top deck all three shells? Of course I did. DNA surgery. Hmm... Let's get the 500 from you, then. Perfect. Let's do it. Doesn't even make them better. I don't know what happens to half the villains in Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0, so... I just know that they're just kind of an ass or something that try to, like, kill people or whatever, and Yugi just... The Pharaoh comes out and just does some stupid game. Okay, we'll just end on this one then. We made progress. Excellent. I'm just moving my thing over here. There we go. For one dude, the pharaoh, like, blew him up with nitroglycerin as punishment for breaking their class's stand at a school festival. <laughs> Japan is wild. That's the lore of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that, I guess, for the first part of it, the pharaoh was just, like, playing games before he realized his destiny was to return to duel monsters. Maybe Darts was right. Maybe the Pharaoh did need to be stopped. Maybe the Pharaoh secretly was evil. <laughs> Let's go. Activate Sparks and become a hero. Do the Goblin Thief. Nobody cheats in Yu-Gi-Oh! except Bandit Keith, apparently, though. I don't know. I kind of wish you could see what happened if Yu-Gi-Oh! continued in that direction. That would have been so funny. 
Excellent. The lore reason is that he was a little crazy at first because he was sealed away for 3,000 years, but he mellowed out as he got to know Yugi and friends. Okay, I can buy that. I'd go a little loopy if I was sealed away for that long. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Turn above ground. Okay, good session. Pretty smooth dungeon there. Hmm... Hmm. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! shows that Joey and Tristan were originally, like, bullies for Yugi. And in Duel Monsters, Joey just became a duelist and Tristan's just, like, in the background the whole time. Not doing anything. Let's go to the store again. And let's change the deck back to Heroes. Chat, I, now I kind of want to read those manga volumes I have. I should do that and tell you all my thoughts. Without spoilers, of course. Hang on. How many episodes is season zero? Let me see. Okay, take this one out. Exit through that. Dorothy's got that. Cryo Sphinx, I've dueled you a thousand times. Oh, wait, hang on, you're at nine duels, so let's do it. I think 27? Damn. Did they basically animate all of Yu-Gi-Oh! before it became about card games? Also, why did Kaiba used to have green hair? I never understood that. Same thing with, like, Trunks and Dragon Ball. They just kind of, like, changed his hair color later and were just supposed to pretend he didn't look different for several years. All right. All right, he's going Destiny Draw. Did Vegeta have brown hair as well? I don't remember that one. Season Zero had a lot of anime-only filler, actually, and skipped some plot lines. They added more anime-only duels as well. Are you, are you, duels, are you talking about... By duels, are you talking about games, or are you talking about the Duel Monsters anime? Now I'm confused. Excellent. Duels, yes, card games. Okay. Yeah, he made Thunder Giant turn one. Nice. Other villains played the card game, too, besides Kaiba. So, from what I understand, when Kazuki Takahashi, uh, also rest in peace, um, was making, like, the card game arc with Kaiba... It, it ended up being so popular with readers that his editor was like, dude, you should just, like, do some more of that. And he did, and it kept getting so popular that eventually, like, the whole series had to center around the card game because it was just so, so much fun. See, Takahashi, like, he loved playing so many games, and he was, like, super into Magic the Gathering, and he just wanted to, like, you know, take some of the games he loved and kind of, like, work them into, like, you know, a legally distinct version in the, in the, um, in his manga. And I guess that Magic the Gathering reference really worked out for him, for sure. Kaiba was also a very popular breakout character. I mean, yeah, Kaiba is still a freaking popular character. I can't imagine. He definitely got a lot more popular as it went on, too. Anyways, I, let me focus on the game here. I'll go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go all in. Um, don't need to do that. I will set this. Let's try and attack now. Battle trap me, I dare ya. It's all about the popularity. I would have loved to see more games too, but yeah. It's all about dual monsters now. Imagine an alternate universe where we had, like, continued Yu-Gi-Ohs and we would see characters like Jaden and Yusei not about duel monsters, just that still them playing different games screwing with people. That sounds like a fanfic I would read the hell out of if it was if it was well done. We're never gonna get something official like that though. Um yeah, I guess that's that. We hit him hard. Okay. Let's go. 
Well, he put that in defense mode. Okay. You can do this. Jaden and Yusei playing D&D. &D. You know, Jaden's whole thing could have just been about Yubel. Like, the Pharaoh was the spirit inside of uh, Yugi. And then Jaden could have just been, like, playing messed up games with people, with Yubel making them even more messed up. <laughs> and Yusei's can just be, like, him being the poor guy playing against rich people that think they can push everyone around. <laughs> That's pretty much how, it, how the actual 5Ds was, though. Okay, he's doing the moving fortress. I don't need to stop that. It's fine. I should be able to get crushed by you anyway. But we can also just do this. You say also just punches people, yes. They tried to censor some of that in the 4Kids version by, like, uh, making some of the frames where the hit happens a flash. But, uh, you say just... No, you say just straight up punches people. In the first arc of 5Ds, when he needs to go talk to Rex Goodwin, or Rex Godwin, <laughs> Goodwin is the English name, he goes up to the guards up at the tower, and they're like, hey, you can't come in here. And he literally just punches both of them in the face, and he's like, get out of my way. He's got explain in the do. <laughs> yeah, he's sure you can some of them, too. Well, shoot, skis. I just know I can do better than that. I was watching the sub for 5Ds for a bit, but I also put that down a few years ago. I should get back to it. Because I did want to watch all of it in the sub, because it was actually surprisingly really good. Back to basics. Super strength. Mm. Maybe buy a sandwich while we're here. Take that. Sorry, dude, I hate that. Well, that sucks. I see a card. Damn, Tofu again. Let's do it again. Yusei is, like, the most, like, somehow the most generic character, but also the most awesome character, because... None. Damn it, I got Tofu again. You say is this is a poor badass guy who rides a motorcycle, wears a blue leather jacket. He's also a super genius and can hack things. He's a super skilled duelist and he also punches people. He's like the most unhinged Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist compared to uh, compared to Jaden. Man. Excellent spicy fish eggs. Let's do it again. I want to get back to Zexel, because I actually like Yuma. Everyone hates Yuma because, like, his series was focused on, like, a new uh, generation of kids, so he kind of doesn't understand the game at first, but he's not that bad. I like Yuma. He's just not Yusei. He's not going around punching people because he's a freaking kid. Dragon Warrior 2. You know what? Let's try dueling hose again. Let's see if we get hosed. Excellent. Ugh. Zexel is the most hated Yu-Gi-Oh! series by everyone who never saw it. I was also watching the, the dub of Zexel, by the way. Because I couldn't find the sub anywhere. Only the str streaming services only had the dub. Excellent. Ugh, pardon me. Okay. Yuma does have one of the stupidest hairstyles, though. Oh, it's Mobius. He didn't do a tribute summon, though, so we can't... We can't get the back row removal. That's at least something. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of your field spell with this. I can make Thunder Giant... Wait, they tie, so... Hang on a second, I gotta read the card. Where's Thunder Giant at? Is it less than or equal to less than? Is it? Let me see. Less than the. Damn it! Okay, it won't work because they tie. Hmm. Skyscraper will just let me beat over so I can ignore fusion summoning then. Maybe just play Sparkman in attack mode. Hmm. 
then flip up swords on main phase two. Pop them. Okay. We'll do this to protect yourself, because Sparkman's gonna be a sitting duck. Down Solemn, end turn. Premature Burial is activating. Okay, he's bringing that back. Don't think I want to stop that, because he can't attack, and I can just beat over him with Skyscraper again. Ooh, that's a lot of back row. I don't like that. He's putting the heat down. He's playing Premature Burial. Is he bringing back Woodsman? Why? Okay, then. Sakuretsu, that's fine. Emergency provisions, whatever. End phase, draw phase. He really wants frickin' Mobius on the field. But we can beat over both of those easily now. Yeah, we'll activate the effect of Woodsman. Get herself a free poly. It might be better for me to make Rampart Blaster, actually, for an extra body. I don't need Thunder Giant because the way their things are, so... Yeah, let's do that. Rampart Blaster would have the right attack power for this. Perfect, yeah. Let's do it. And I guess I can just set this as backup since I can normal summon. Okay. So let's go ahead and take you out using Skyscraper. Nice, no battle trap. Skyscraper is coming in clutch right now. Maybe I should put a copy of Skyscraper in Aster's deck. I don't know. Do I only have the one or do I have two? I know I only got one Captain Gold, but... Either way, we got him right now. How you doing, Miner? Welcome. We're having a wholesome little Yu-Gi-Oh day. Oh, polymerization. Excellent. I mentioned reading manga, but I should do some more of that in general. Um, every once in a while, I've been able to sit down and read like some Batman comics, which I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying getting into Batman a lot, but um. I just need more time to, like, read and focus on something, like, away from a screen without giving myself a headache. Because I often spend too many hours at, at my desk right after I'm done streaming, because I'm trying to get, like, all the thumbnails and everything done for the week. Nice. It's good to stand up and go for a walk or whatever. Or just, like, sit in a different room and just read. Hmm. 697. Yes, not bad at all. Let's duel again. Our win. I had a mini heart attack for a second. I thought it wasn't recording for the past little while, but I, I realized I looked at it wrong. Okay, that duel went okay. Cryo Sphinx. Let's go somewhere else to duel people. To the beach. Chad has been well behaved, don't worry. One of the mods today is busy moving into a new place, so... Don't act up, chat. Neospatians, the metals. You know what? Let's go for you guys. Heroes versus heroes. And Kura. All right. Do this. Pardon me. Hmm. Tag duel versus... The metals and neospatians. Fun. King of the Swamp. Polymerization. Immediately starting with Wild Edge. The best part about heroes is never having to use the right heroes. King of the Swamp, baby. He's an imposter and it works. Okay, that's uh, unfortunate. Damn. We got bodied. <laughs> that metal bug just came out of nowhere. 
So let's see what I can do here. He already banished King of the Swamp and miracled. Fantastic. I can't fuse anything in my hand either. That is crappy. I may as well just throw Ocean to the wolves then. That metal bug, man. And just get rid of this thing for now. Let's go. Neo Space, he's going for it. Come on. Come on, Aster. You can do it. You can you can do this. I know you can. Never mind. Oh, we are so just we are so boned now. We are so destroyed, man. <laughs> we both had bad opening hands for this, absolutely. And now he just gets a bunch of life points. I wonder if Hummingbird is good in Aromages in like an, a crusty way. I don't know. It's like a lot of free life point gain. Anyways, can I Mirror Force? <laughs> oh, we're boned, man. It's over. Game over. Two thousand. That was just some bad luck. Yeah, we both bricked pretty badly. We both had fusion stuff, but nothing to fuse. All the wrong pieces. We still got one turn if he could just, like, draw a mirror force. Okay. That's not gonna help us, Aster. That's not gonna help us. Asher's not gonna help us, my dude. Come on. Oh, wait a second. Did he? Okay, I know he got killed by Sakuretsu, but he he literally attacked the weak monster instead of the big monster. The one that would have killed him next turn if he did if he survived. Well, that sucks. <laughs> he went for the hummingbird. He recognized the danger of Neospatians. Yeah, let's go again, bro. We need a salty run back. Round two, baby. Let's do it. Ooh. Now, I don't think Plasma Vice or Hero Prisma are, exist yet. Prisma's really good for setting up Miracle Fusion. I can't wait till I can play, like, Masked Heroes and Vision Heroes. I want to see what they're about later. But we'll get to that in future games. Okay, he got Crush Card. He's gonna throw that away for that. He's gonna discard Malicious to draw. Nice. He's gonna Rota. He's got Stratos. He's cooking. He's cooking. Let him go. Come on. Wait, what? Why'd he take Dogma? Really? He's going Crush Card for Malicious. Bro, that, now that's a good turn. Bean Sanctuary. Oh, that thing. Controller's gonna take damage on that one, sadly. So we'll set that up for him. Hmm. Who can I fuse right now? Oh, wait, I can make Inferno? Uh, that would be pretty underwhelming right now, not gonna lie, so we better save that. Could just let Lady Heat be the one that chips away at him there. I don't want to waste the ringer all that on that. Why not? Don't battle trap me. Don't battle trap me. Horrible lady. I'll take a small amount of damage. I don't even care. Just to get rid of that. Uh, when does it happen? Let me see. You're in the end phase of your turn, yes. 400 damage, baby. Bring in the heat. Foolish burial. Okay. Premature burial. Oh, he's bringing the Zoa? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Bring the Zoa. I will take this damage. Like, 
champion. No, stop it! I said no! You are not having the Zoa. You may not have that at all. To the graveyard with you. Remember that game we won with Lady Heat? Yeah, Lady Heat did in fact win us that game. It was great. Is he making Inferno? Damn it, I shouldn't have let him have that card. Whatever. I guess probably sh it's probably better to let him have it than not, yeah. Why did he do that? If he didn't need to, whatever. Let him cook. Let him cook, everybody. I don't know why he needed to throw away the heat and his poly for that, but okay. That's not gonna stop us. I feel like we could sneeze in a moment. Crush card virus. Yeah, half your life points, bro. How about that? Letting him have crush card is actually kind of fun. Oh, nice. We basically win. This guarantees we can get it, too. Why do I have Shield Crash in this deck, huh? Bro, this is ancient for this playthrough. I don't know why. Maybe I should take that out for, like, another, like, Skyscraper copy or something. Oh, wait. Should've gone for the Overkill. Oh, boy. 738. Man, I lost. Guess my deck needs more work. Shield Crash does not get you out of a jam. At, this, at these levels, it's just, like, kind of a waste. I have one copy of Skyscraper. Actually, you know, I could just put MST in. But I have Righteous Justice for that now, so I guess that's not needed. Is there another staple I could put in? No, I got most of what I need there, so... I'll just put in another Skyscraper for now. Why not? I don't need the, uh, Shield Crash at all. Um... Oopsie. Uh, Terraforming, not really. Skyscraper, Skyscraper... What am I doing? I'm in the wrong spot. There it is. Make a quick save to it. So I don't forget. Exit deck edit. No, I'm not gonna play Neo Spatians. I wanna have fun. Hey, it's bright! been a while since I've seen her. We're gonna have to do a playthrough with Bright every freaking um, every, like, game now. I wonder, chat, should I also do a playthrough with, with Wisteria? People want me to play with Wisteria. I wonder why. I wonder why people want me to play with the bratty girl with the, with the purple twin tails. Mystery will never be solved. If someone wants to send me more fan art to use for the thumbnail like they did with Bright. Well, that's just free money on the table then. Why not? Let's go. Wisteria and Bright are in like every Tag Force game, yeah. They all just kind of show up. Even in 5Ds! Well, they... It was Tag Force 2 that started having the unique NPCs like that. They weren't in Tag Force 1. King of the Swamp. You can't King of the Swamp me. That's my play. Bears! You can't play bears against me. How dare you. Um... No. We don't want to do that. Hmm. We could try to get around the battle traps. If I fuse, who can I make here? Sparkman with that I can make Necroid Shaman. That's not gonna do anything. Hmm. I could call Blade Edge. I'm gonna take a chance. Whatever. Go ahead, you jerk. 
Tier 3s have story and later Tag Force games. Wait, so you're telling me that Bright and Wisteria will have actual stories and cutscenes later? Ooh. More money on the table, chat. Here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna make Wild Edge, because they because they got a recruiter on board. Go, go, go. Okay, we're all set up with that. And now we're gonna attack the bear. I'm sorry, everyone. The bears must be busted. Grizzly's effect was not activated. They knew. Or rather, it's not the right deck for this. They also have actual conversations with you. All right. Free content, chat. Yu-Gi-Oh! never ends. Ooh, she got nothing. Come on, you can do this. Whatever. Right can't activate that card properly, so it doesn't matter. What? No, you need to summon... What, what are you doing? What are you doing, Aster? Great way to cost us the game, jerk. Oh, now... Yeah, the main phase two, Stratos, you dumbass. <laughs> Needed this wait to do that Stratos play so we could get our hands on Stratos. I can't believe who I'm working with here. Can't believe what I'm dealing with here, chat. Yeah. I'm gonna take Stratos back so I can pop that back row safely. And win. Uh-oh. Well, all right then. There are no targets anymore. Except you. Hardly mattered. Let's do it. Attack for game. Win. You win, everybody. I win. 7.55. Oh, you got the best of me. You're some duelist. Our win. Let's keep it up. Well, it's going okay here. Black Flame, get the hell away from me. No need to be dueling her. The boy's door, maybe? <clears throat> Pardon me. Raging winds, surging waves. Those two sound like a pain in the ass together. Summer Melody... Unknown Chaos. They're both at 10. Brute Power. And... D dude, get out of the way. I was trying to see you. Old Turtle. Alright, let's go with you. How exciting. Let's have a little bit of fun, why don't we chat? <clears throat> Pardon me. Aster is still making smooth brain options. He absolutely is, or decisions, whatever. You know what I mean? He's not the smartest sometimes. <laughs> not bad. Now, what do we got? Got the woodsman. We'll put this down to bait stuff. Hmm. I'll do this so I can search something. I'll take... Hang on. I'll take a wild heart right now. Don't need to flip this for anything. Now let's do this. Yeah, Sakuretsu armor. Of course, you jerk. So much for that one, then, huh? I'll set this in case he wants to use it. Because he's the one that's better for discarding stuff like Malicious. Island Turtle. Exiled Force. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, darn it. He's going to Tribute kill him.
Come on. He doesn't have a Destiny Hero to play. Well, well, we got screwed. Except not. He can make Terra Firma. Rare situation where Terra Firma is actually useful. Never mind. <laughs> no, 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 he wants it back. No, he's getting Stratos back. Oh, that's Yu-Gi-Oh in a nutshell, isn't it? Oh, he got Stratos with Stratos. Excellent. Dude, MST that back, bro. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay. Maybe we should MST that. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you know what? Astra, good call on saving that. Good call. I spoke too soon. All right, then. Oh, we can't do that right there. Getting a poly isn't what we want. Better off using Wild Heart here in case of battle traps. Let's do this. We'll poke him for now. We got the lead with this turn. Yeah, he should have added a Destiny Hero so he could discard. That would have been a good good way to use um, Stratos for sure. I don't think he realizes that, though. He could just search Malicious and then immediately like discard it for Destiny Draw and then Special Summon Malicious after. Okay. What are these plays? I, they're a lot better than how he used to play with his Destiny Hero cards. Will he do it? He took Blade Edge. You don't have the means to fuse, man. It's not gonna work. Well, we can't beat over Turnal. He's got Exiled Force coming. Fantastic. He probably just set them, too. Um, I can just make Wild Edge here with that. Yeah. Or Terra Firma, technically, but... It's Lightning Vortex. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, I could make this and pop the back row, but it's only one card. I feel like I'm... It's not worth the risk. Let's do it. It's only one card. I'll take it. I can't be scared of every single thing coming to kill me. But it probably will. We'll attack for game if this works. Come on. No flip. No flip. No! Even if I would have used Wild Wingman, he would have just, um... He would have just popped that anyway, so... It wouldn't have mattered. All right. He ran out of resources. We still, we're still winning. We're still winning. Well, that's that turn. Okay, they got nothing. He's just gonna tribute for Blade Edge and go for game. This is it. This is it, Luigi. Yeah, we got enough. You love to see it. Ooh. Yeah, let me take a quick drink here. Thank you, Yu-Yo. Ooh, pardon me. My, I've never been so humiliated. What a wonderful duel. Let's play again. Okay, that's that. What about... Let's fight the, the, the really strong pair, because these two are pretty... have really competent decks, and they might synergize well. We got good cards now, so I shouldn't avoid them. I kind of like playing this. It's like playing with Jaden again, but a little bit of a twist. Well, Jaden makes some bad plays too, for sure, but Aster is still... I feel like there's like five different Aster clips you could make in this whole episode. Um, I think for the next character I play with, I kind of want to play with Cyrus, because I think Cyrus has a story that involves unlocking Zane, right? It has like, um, Zane show up in his edgy black coat. I think that could be fun to play with machines for a bit with him. Unfortunately, we have to reach past the, the four hearts in order to get the unique events, though. Which is still a big issue with Tag Force 2. Tag Force 3, it'll be better. Uh-oh, that sucks. He got rid of Morphing Jar, damn. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and activate this now. Throw this down. Excellent. Can't fuse these ones here. 
You see, heat can beat over you just barely. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Oh wait, what am I doing? I want to be at lower power so I can also pull off. If I put this down and it works, because Skyscraper will kill, Astra can bring Captain Gold back and safely summon him. So we can try that. Okay, good. No battle trap. End turn. We can try and make a, a crusty synergized deck for um, Cyrus, and we can play like his stupid like gyroid fusions. Uh oh, that's not good. So much for that. He had the tricky. He got tricky chat. Cost your check as well. It's like playing with Jaden, except he's rude. That's right. Oh, he's making terra firma. It's the only one he can make. You know what? It got rid of all of them, so why not? Aster can't do any fusion summons without, like, the whole thing just going pop and gone. Like, it just goes like... It's like he puts a balloon on the field, and then just, like, a little needle hits it, and bam. Done. Well. Nothing to summon. May as well just bring the heat. Cyrus had a terrible deck in Tag Force 1. Like, he had, like, Thunder, Neon, Neon. And, like, he would keep trying to summon her, even though, like, she would instantly get destroyed because the conditions for that were always fulfilled. He's such a goober. What does this do again? Okay, he gets a free recruit off that. We'll end turn then. Hang on a second. What was in Aster's hand? Maybe I should be putting... Yeah, he, he doesn't need my poly. Okay, here's Dasher. It's so easy for him to brick with the Destiny heroes he's forced to have as well. Well. Uh-oh. That sucks. And now we're popped. Oh, we're getting cooked, chat. We're getting cooked. Best I can do is summon Sparkman and Righteous Justice that back row in case it's something that'll stop us. It was an MST. That was pretty fair play, I'd say. Don't have Skyscraper no more, so we're gonna hope this works. It's Tadpole. Okay. What? All right, then. I just gave him plus two. I'm a, I'm a genius. Well. She's got three cards, and she's doing this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aster needs a miracle here. Wait, he has malicious. If he destiny draws, destiny draw. That would be very good. Hmm. Oh, he drew Diamond Dude as well. Dasher lets him get that summon. And... Never mind. Never mind, we're still we're still dead. We can survive this turn at least, right? Maybe not. Yep, yeah, it's over, I'm afraid. Dang. They had the right back row to stop us. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. Game over, chat. What can you expect? I'm much stronger than you. Okay, you jerk. Gonna be rude about it. Like, Aster here. How long you plan on keeping me out? Well, leave, Mr. Fancy Pants. What do I care? We're making good progress, but only one gold sandwich so far. Maybe I should go try and get a gold sandwich right now. Max out his heart so we can at least see another unique event. Because holy crap, it's taken forever to fill him up. This was the first place I went to. Okay. Oh, I see it. Hell yeah. Bit of a waste, because we already filled up most of that heart, but I'll take it. Time for class? Hell no. Alright, let's see a good uh, event here. Oh, there isn't one during the day. It might be during the morning. Or maybe later in the day. I shouldn't end. I shouldn't just end it. 
just in case. No matter how many times I look at it, it's this place is the worst. Yeah, I think it's going to be one that's triggered in the morning. Getting free stuff here. Yeah, it doesn't look like nighttime as well, so we'll just end the day. Very productive day for us, yeah. Let me just pop in here and make a quick save. Uh, what am I doing? It's at the bottom. Overwrite the data. I think all of them past four or start in the morning. It worked that way for Hassleberry. I don't know about the rest of them. Asprey, come with me. There's a weird rumor going around. Let's go check it out. Weird rumor? What? What kind of weird rumor? A rumor about the Pro Duelist being terrible? I heard that one. I witnessed it. To the raw yellow dorm. Let's check it out. Oh, no. It, it, Aster's dealing with this stuff? Oh. Aster. Princeton. Misawa. <laughs> nice timing. So the rumors are true. What's going on here? This is a joke. You're going way too far, dude. That's right. You better cut it out. Jaden and Aster saved the world if you haven't forgotten. I have. No, this is no joke. I have seen the wonders of the light once more. So this is after they already dismantled this whole thing. That's right, the lights come back. Can you feel it? Well, how about you join the Society of Light? Give me a break. Have you forgotten that the light almost destroyed the world? That's it. Get your game on, Princeton. I'm going to snap you out of it. Sure, whatever. Not like I'm going to lose. I'll show you the light. Wait up, Jaden. This duel is mine and Asprey's. Master? If we win, you have to tell us what's going on. Do you accept, Princeton? Yeah, sure, no problem. You're the ones who, who are lost and can't see. This will be a tag duel. We'll both show you guys to the light. Let's do this, Asprey. Don't slip up. They're just like, hey, the Society of Light stuff is happening again because we need a plot for Aster. Oh, boy. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? White Chaz, okay. And, and Enlightenment. That's the name of his deck, everyone. Activate Rhoda. Surely they can't... I, I refuse to believe Chaz has a competent deck. It's not real. He can't. Well, I got a Miracle and all this. We got Woodsman. I can make Terra Firma, actually. It might be the best option to do, since I'm kind of lacking stuff. At least I have a backup plan. Let's do this. Make Terra Firma. Okay. And now I could Miracle to make a second one. But the problem is Aster would immediately tribute one of them to make a stupid play. And we could get battle trapped anyway, so I'm gonna go for this. Dragon dwelling in the cave, okay. Okay, if I bring back Woodsman, I can give Aster a free polymerization before he tributes the damn thing at least, so we'll do that. And I get an extra bit of attack damage here with this. Bastion just went a little insane to get approval. Yes, he did. Okay, he's going for that thing. Hang on. White Veil. Hold up, let me read the damn thing, please. Monster equipped with this card. All effects of spell or trap cards your opponent controls. Oh, damn it! We can't use Mirror Force against it. That's unfortunate. So much for that plan. Well, and because the effect of Call the Haunt it's negated, it won't go away. That's perfect. <sighs> Dude. Really? Really? 
Well, at least we can just Mirror Force now. Yeah, how about you like it? He got rid of his Ace there, so it's perfect. Hang on, I can mir now I can Miracle Fusion the other Terra Firma, but is there anything else? No, just Terra Firma. I can't believe this is... I have to rely on this thing. It's the one time, chat. <laughs> it's Manga Hero Day. Yes, it is. Well, Necro Shade's not a Manga Hero, I don't think. We already made them use their Mirror Force. We should be okay. No, no, no. Do not. We do not need to use the Tribute. Don't do that. Get stabbed. Get beamed. Okay. We've almost got them. Okay, he's putting down Dasher. For not really any reason. Ah, damn it. I wish you would have put down Stratos and just popped the back row there. That would have worked. Now he just gave them a free out. Good job. Oh, fantastic. Hey, I seen this one. <laughs> Thank you, Will, for the 14 months there. They just don't know how to use their own cards. Yeah, they're 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 trying. I don't have anything I can do with my hand. Oh my god. That's pretty unfortunate. Wow. Oh, they also bricked. Okay, we we literally win. Still, he just use Stratos, man. They will never use Stratos to pop the back row. They only use him as a searcher. Princeton, Misawa. Hehehe, <laughs> I'll get you back someday. Just because we lost doesn't mean we can't see the light. That didn't work. They're still being controlled. Princeton, Misawa, what on earth is going on? You promised. Now tell us the truth. There's nothing to hide. The Society of Light is back. Let's go, Misawa. Let's spread the word. Aster, we won't lose next time. See you again soon. What the heck is going on? It can't be. This is the one that just gives us free duel points, basically. Yeah, it's Craig and Matthew. Alright, let's duel them. Every time you beat, like, event number four, you just basically get this, right? How much do you bet they'll still be... Chaz and Bastion will be normal when you run into them in the overworld? Oh. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what's he got? Okay, turn one, Wild Edge. Respect it. At least I can put, like, one of the Society of Light looks in the uh, thumbnail. Because I'm running out of characters I haven't used in these thumbnails, by the way. Let me see here. Okay, we can Righteous Justice that one card back there. Let's do it. Pop it. It was Shrink. Good play, good play. Okay, Woodsman should be fine there. Here's what we'll do. We'll activate swords as well to guarantee it. Okay, Goblin Attack Force. Not bad, not bad. Make sure this will be face up so Aster can get a free polymerization on his standby phase. We can get the max amount of damage since we know this is weak as hell. I almost never put Bastion in the thumbnails because he's so freaking irrelevant after every early GX thing. I mean, it's Bastion. Who cares about him? Let's do it. Airforming. Gaia Power. Uh, that's gonna buff my monsters. Both of these two are Earth. Uh-oh. Good thing I have the swords up. Really hope he's got an MST. Uh, thank you! Now use it. Use it. Use it on the Snatch Deal. Use it. Okay, good. 
For a second, I thought he was going to use it on the Gaia power, because that seemed like an Aster thing to do. Well, I made him go minus for that. I don't care. This is doing just fine. Playing that those swords was actually a very smart decision. Like, holy crap, these are working overtime for me. I'm so glad I put that down. I was just trying to get the effect of Woodsman. Take the one from the deck. Put this down, and we can make Thunder Giants. Let's see. Oh, wait, no. Let me double check something here. Hang on. Double check the wording on Thunder Giant again. Let me see. With an original attack, less than the attack of this card. And he has 22, 2400. Damn it, he ties again. I can't do this. No, you can head to bed if you need to, Minard. Um, are there any other mods here? Because I want to set up a prediction poll for Mario Party in a bit. Damn, this is annoying. I guess I can just set up Thunder Giant and evacuate this thing next turn. Or, hang on. Let's see, what tribunal monster? I could just tribute Woodsman to get this. Yeah, then we can beat over him. Yeah, that would work best. Put in attack mode. So if that's the case, we should make the fusion play. Here on mobile, because computer's in a box. Don't, don't worry, you don't need to be sorry. I understand you're moving. Okay, we'll make Thunder Giant. Thunder Giant's light, not earth. It's fine, though. Okay, now we're going to activate Destiny Hero Dasher. We're gonna discard you. Now we have enough attack points to beat over Chainsaw Insect and win for game. 200. And I get to draw a card too. Oh look, King of the Swamp, how nice. Ugh. I can always also, if I need to, I can also set it up myself. Oh, I'm gonna go for like a half hour more in Yu-Gi-Oh anyway, it's okay. All right, that worked out. How many points did I get for that? 5,000, nice. Let's see if I can immediately just get a gold sandwich. What are you doing here, chump? I almost never see him around. The main thing is though, I just want to see if I can immediately get the gold sandwich to do the next event. No gold. Oh, he hates it. Oh, no. Now I gotta get him back to a full heart or the gold sandwich won't skip it, right? Y tell me, the why'd you put the gold here? Hmm. Tell me this is gonna skip it. Tell, tell me it's not just gonna fill the one I minus two. Please tell me it won't. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Okay. I was worried there for a second. All right, let's do some dueling and just fill that one heart up. <laughs> I was terrified for a moment. I was actually terrified. Holy crap, man. I wasn't sure if it gave a heart worth or if it just maxes out the current heart. Don't think we're gonna finish his entire arc today, though. Still, very significant progress in the past hour. I mean, things absolutely sped up once I started, like, editing his deck. Like, this is working out just nicely. Okay, got Blade Edge. I'm just gonna throw that down. Terraforming. Venom Swamp. Oh, great. Venoms. Dasher? Yes, actually. Yes, I would love if you put that down. What? Tell him your special someone with that. That's fine. Thank you, Destiny Hero Dasher. 
for the free freaking blade edge. We're not done yet, chat. You know why? Because now we're going to bring the heat. And, oh, look at that. I've got three E-Heroes. You know what that means, right? Oh. Never mind! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, then. That sucks. Venom's had a negate. Could have fooled me. Is that Jaden on the card art? It is. Look at that. Once per turn, when you take battle damage from a battle involving a reptile monster, special summon a reptile type monster from your deck with attack less than or equal to the battle damage you took. Hmm. I could make Terra Firma and just, like, go for the freaking kill. <laughs> oh, wait. I can also revive someone? Dasher. Wait, can I hit for game? I think I can. I think I can. Let's do it. Really unsubtle name there. Damage equals reptile, you're telling me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Priest by the tributed monsters. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if I tribute anything in this case. Now let's take Dasher, because for the highest attack point power. Yeah, I think I just won chat. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Jesse doesn't even get a turn. Let's go. Man, Viper is terrible. Sorry, Mr. Viper S, I should say. We didn't even need to get to the last one. 670. Look at that. Ah, not bad, but you don't have much fighting spirit. Our win. Okay, looks like I filled up the heart again. I say we go to bed and immediately do the next Society of Light thing, because that's probably going to be the most entertaining thing Aster can do right now. Venoms, everybody. Plus, we need to further justify putting, like, the white coat characters in the thumbnail. How long you plan to keep me out? Sheesh! A11. Asprey, my Destiny Hero Plasma has been stolen from my deck. I kept my deck safe, and I never misplaced a card, so I know it was taken. Don't worry. No, I took it out, remember? I need to find it. I need some kind of lead. I, I'll ask the chumps in the Society of Light. Maybe they know something. Does it actually remove it from his deck if this happens? If it's in there? Well, let's go find out what's going on. To the girls' dorm. There they are. Hey, wait. Isn't that Jaden? What gives? Alexis, don't tell me you two. Nothing's wrong, it's just that I've realized the beauty of the light. Oh, brother, it's just like last time. Look at that blank stare. Jaden, Alexis is being controlled again. Well, time for me to knock you back to the real world again, Alexis. Wait up, Jay. I've heard of this society. Tell me, who's behind all of this? Why is everyone being controlled by the light of destruction? Now that I think about it, I think you need to see the light. Oh, whatever. If you want to duel me, fine. But if I win, you gotta tell me who's behind all this. Also, you gotta return my Destiny Hero Plasma, which you stole from me. Oh, did we establish that happened? Hey, is that true, Aster? Yeah, it is. My card is gone and the society is here. There's, n there's no coincidence. Okay, that's not how proof works. Come on, Asprey. Let's not screw this up. Listen, th that should be me saying that to you. Let's be clear, Aster. You can't beat us, even if you're a pro duelist. Well, he's right, you know. Bastion is, in fact, right about that statement. Actually, it was me. I took Plasma out of his deck. <laughs> yes. Let's go, everybody. Enlightenment. Bastion's here to be a partner. He's got no Destiny Heroes to play. 
Okay, no problem. Hmm, only one card back there. We better pop it. Alexis loves her battle traps. Yeah, I knew it. Mirror Force. Absolutely was the right decision. Okay, if I call polymerization with that, hmm, wouldn't really work out the way I want it to, I feel. I'm gonna go with Ocean in attack mode. We got rid of the Mirror Force, so we're safe to kind of go in. Mm, I'm playing it safe. I don't trust this. Damn it. There's only 500 defense. Well, whatever. Okay. Everything works fine there. We win. Hydro get on. Oh, look, chat. He actually has his, uh... He's got the root beer dragon. Or dinosaur. Is it a dragon? No, it's a dinosaur. Okay. We'll put this down. Stop that. Cut that out. Stop that. You know what? If I can't have him, neither can you. Sorry, Heat. You understand. Just business. All right, then. Nice. Okay, he can Destiny Draw here. And he can bring Heat back. See, I knew what I was doing. Discard Dasher. Nice. Go for Rhoda. Got Stratos. Nice. He's playing Heat, though. We're back to square one. Ring of Destruction. Hey, I seen this one. <laughs> Rewind in case you missed a moment ago, everybody. He's set Destiny Draw. Blizzard Dragon. Uh-oh. That's gonna kill. Oh, hey, Mirror Force. Okay. Once per turn, select opponent's monster. The selected monster cannot change the battle position or declare an attack to the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, for now, we can just go ahead and set Clayman. And play Mirror Force. That should be good to stall for the turn. They only got a thousand points left. Okay, they're going for it. Hang on. Hold up, let me read this. Monster with this battle... Okay, yeah, first take the damage. I don't need to mirror force you two. I need to just chip your life points down. Okay, you got this. You got this. You can't mess this up. I, 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 I shouldn't say that. You're going to somehow. Okay, and we win. Nice. Look at that chat, we did it. 658. Uh, Arg. Alexis, Misawa, you guys did it. The Society of Light, you can't stop it that easily. Anyway, the Society of Light was rebuilt by Sartorius. What? Is that true, Alexis? How is that true? Sartorius was supposed to be recuperating. I don't know about any of that, but Sartorius is acting out of his own will. We don't know anything about this Destiny Hero Plasma. All I know is the society is back. This time, Misawa doesn't seem himself either. I accept defeat. Later. Lexus, Misawa, wait up! What's going on? Well, guess we won't get our answers now. Aster, we'll help you look for your Destiny Hero Plasma, too. I think you're right about there being some kind of connection. Cyrus, Tyranno, let's go. Thanks, Jaden. Sartorius. Why? Where are you, Sartorius? Alright, then. Let's see if I can get an immediate gold sandwich again. So there's two events left, right? Yeah, we're at six hearts out of eight. Cyrus is with a girl. Look at that. Who saw that coming? Progress today. I'm guessing Sartorius is going to be the, um, the boss. The final boss of this line, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. No gold. 
durian sandwich. I'm pretty sure he didn't like that. Try again. See a card. Damn, Tofu again. They did translate his sister's name as Sartorius. We saw that in a weird flashback duel. No gold, only normal. I don't think we're getting to the end of this today, no. Because I want to wrap this up in a little bit. And do Mario Party. I guess it's not so bad. Alright, one more sandwich for now. Destiny? No, 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 no. Gonna build up our dual points. They were pretty low for a while after I built the Destiny Hero deck. Which was crap, by the way. Dried Mackerel? I think he hates this, too. Damn it. You know what? One more now, because I wasted it. Tomato Sandwich. Ugh. Well, so much for that, huh? There's another tournament coming up, but we're not going to get to that today. Check the harbor. Get some more hero duels in. They're fun. I haven't seen you for a while, Kami. And you are Pablo with Defiant Ones. Okay, let's do it. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I have to duel you. Get some points. I definitely enjoyed playing with Aster a lot more today. Because I gave him better cards. <laughs> hmm. First to go, second to go. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if Aster can do it. Work so hard for like a few sentences of original text in a duel with Bastion and Alexis. It's so much fun. That has a lot of power. Now it doesn't. Torrential Tribute's gone, too. Nice. Okay. What do you do? Did he just set Stratos? Excuse me? Okay, okay. I can forgive everything else, but like... No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're breaking up right now. Get the hell away from me. Who, you, who the hell set Stratos? You had ocean in your hand if you needed to do that. I I don't even get his effect now when I flip him. That is one of the dumbest things I have ever seen in this game, and that's saying something, let me tell you. <laughs> he freaking set Stratos. It wasn't like it was his only monster, too. Okay, 1400. We'll set this down. Nothing to fuse. Hmm. Swords are here to protect us, so let's put this down so he gets a free polymerization on his turn. Swords is good for Stalin for that. Apparently Aster does that, yes. Okay, no flips. Hope this works. Yes! And higher attack mode, so Skyscraper works. And now this thing that gets to show up here, face up. All right, and turn. He looked you in the eye right before doing it, too. Oh, there's the ocean. Oh, there's that. He can't attack, though. And I will do this. Sorry, I'm not fighting the bear. The bear can go away. Come on, Aster, you can do it. I hope. Get a free poly. Mill your deck a little bit. Okay. Can make terra firma. Okay, there goes Stratos. He did nothing so far, though. Oh, dude, stop with the swapping. What do you give us? The Nimble Mamanga. Of course you did. Okay. I can fuse... Damn, this thing's a problem right now. I can't fuse anything that's gonna beat over him. Hang on. What about the Shaman? That might actually get me out of this. What does the Shaman do again? Where is it? 
When this, let's see. When this card is special summon, destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field, then select a monster on your opponent's graveyard. Okay, I can get rid of Terra Firma and just bring out something random with that. Uh, probably should just give him the Howling Insect, to be honest. Damn it. Yeah, it's going to be buffed. I got to give him the Howling Insect. He's going to get a search off it, but it's going to have to work. Wait, I can make Flame Wingman as well. That's not going to be enough to beat over him, though. That's the issue. <laughs> Necroid Shaman's the only one that can really just pop him, if I understand correctly. I'm going to go for it. Okay, put in attack mode. We'll pop this. Let him have the insect. Let's see. Do that. 1200. The nimble manga is just kind of there. I may as well summon Burstinatrix and attack. Why not? If only this was a dark monster, I could at least crush card it, but oh well. That was a decently smart play, I feel. Even, like, the random heroes that seem useless can just get you out of a weird jam sometimes. Necroid Shaman's surprisingly a lot more useful than I thought. He's just got a 1900 beat stick, though, so... And I did get Necroshade in the graveyard with it, so we can play Blade Edge if he needs to. Oh, here comes the lobster. Oh, uh... Okay. I get a thousand life points. Or wait, no, you get that. Never mind. Damn it. I forgot how that works because it goes to your graveyard. Oh, nice. Premature. Well, okay, you're not going to use it. Okay, you're not going to use it, huh? N n not going to play Premature Burial, huh? Not going to Premature Burial revive the Stratos and, like, search stuff? No? No? Not going to do that? Okay, Aster. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> It is in the graveyard, right? Oh, look at that! A target for premature burial. Aster. What is he? He's still, he's still like, he's still doing stuff, chat. He's still being stupid. I don't understand. Why won't he help? At least I, my hand can refresh with this. All right, I'll take it. We're gonna take a chunk of damage, though, but I got a Mirror Force to give us the comeback if Aster can't do it. Unless we die this turn. Please don't die this turn, Aster. Please, 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 please just revive Stratos. Please just revive Stratos. Aster, just revive Stratos, please. Okay, that's the best Aster clip of the day. <laughs> okay. Alright then. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Oh my goodness, chat. <laughs> he cooked alright. He cooked alright. Why does he keep doing that? Oh. All right, then. Hang on a second. What the hell can I miracle? King of the Swamps in the graveyard. Woodsman. Now, I could just make Flame Wingman and beat over you so you take the damage on that. Ocean can have a small attack boost as well. Alternatively, since this is a recruiter, I could just make Wild Edge by summoning you normal summon style. Yeah, we'll do that instead. What happened? You blinked and missed it. He used Premature Burial, and instead of selecting Stratos, um, he selected Captain Gold, who instantly gets destroyed because Skyscraper's not on the field. That's what he did. He, that's the second time he's done that this episode, too. All right. Um, that one, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
I've already edited his deck. He just... There's nothing I can really do about that, though, you know? Alright, let's do it. He's gonna choose to not activate, because obviously... I can just beat over all of them. There we go. That was so silly. I can't believe he did that. Again. Salvage. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is why we got the swords and mirror force. Come on, you can do this. I don't trust you with that call of the haunted. Okay, summon malicious. Why in attack mode, though? I don't know what's wrong with you. Master. Master. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it now. Sure, I'll take free Destiny Draw. Catapult, nice. Here, chat, I'm going to show you what you should do when you have the option to revive Stratos. Pay close attention, Aster. Pay, pay close attention. Ah. There we go. You destroy that, and you get your goddamn cards back. Alright, it's game time. Not activated. You see... It just gets double attacks when Umi's on the field. And that's game. <laughs> Once again, Aster is proving that he's the worst partner in the game. Like, I feel like he's probably already passed, surpassed Chaz with the last episodes, but this one seals the deal. Like, oh, a new high score for what? You see, number of opponents, monsters destroyed. Yeah, I wonder how we could have done things faster, Aster. Okay, next heart. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Nice, but nothing went up. What's you again? Merry-go-round. Let's do one more duel, maybe. Let's just do one more, and then let's take a we'll take a break and set up for Mario Party. Lose, win. I'm a little hungry. I need a little snack. Why does it seem like every partner is worse than the last? I don't know. I seem to pick them that way. I'm not doing it on purpose, though. Okay, I can get Skyscraper. Go for it, bro. Get your Stratos. Yeah, look at you go. Play that Stratos. Add a card to your hand. You got Wild Heart. He's gonna go for it. Bait the Battle Traps. There's nothing there. Excellent. Goblin Elite Attack Force. And he's gonna ring a destruction you. Nice. This is going well. Ooh, that's a lot of cards back there. I could really use... I could really use, um... Yeah, uh, Heavy Storm. That's the name. Well, I'm gonna do this first. If he's got anything to flip up, let him activate it in response to this, why don't we? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, we're not going to be able to hit him for game, but you're not going to be able to stop Wildheart from attacking, so there's that. Three face downs is a little scary to crash into when I have no backup plan, but hell with it. Let's go. Okay, he's got Sakuretsu. Pretty much to make her waste it is why we did that. No problem. They got their destiny draw. Oh, uh, they got nothing. They probably drew into their own mirror force, to be honest, but... Okay, never mind, he got that. They can't stop Wildheart from attacking. I wish he just summoned the second Wildheart, though. He could attack for game there. Uh-oh. Well, here goes that. Okay, I got swords. 
But we can also just Lightning Vortex by discarding Necroshade. Hmm. Hold up. We can also just do Stratos there and pop the back row if we can. Yeah, hang on. We do this. Or I could just bring him back and just attack for game, yeah. I forgot I can target him in the graveyard with that. <laughs> no need to pop the back row at all, we win. Unless he had, like, shrink or something. Okay, that worked out pretty nicely. We can end on a decent dual note there, can't we? One with a deck that didn't contain any monsters except warrior-type monsters. Dang it, but heck, that was loads of excitement. That was awesome. Our win. Let's keep it up. Okay. That worked out pretty nicely. This was a fun episode. Um, it, the last few episodes, it took quite a while to get going with Aster because his, his deck, like, he doesn't know how to use his own cards. And even when I gave him heroes, like, it got much better, but he still doesn't know. I'm going to save a third time just because I can. He's still making some of the most, like, why are you doing this decisions ever? And I don't understand why. Well, I do understand why, because the AI has weird, like, priorities for stuff that, like, makes it do, do dumb things. But still. Still. All right, hang on. I can hydrate. I can hydrate. In just a second when we end the recording. Anyhow, if you are watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this absolutely clip-filled episode of Tag Force 2. Um... I'd say next time I play this, I could probably finish Aster's playthrough. He's taken... He's been, like, one of the longest partner runs, for sure. Simply because it took so long to get going, and I had bad luck with the gold sandwiches, but... I had two sandwiches back-to-back, -back, so we immediately jumped events here, so that's good. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, this is where the Yu-Gi-Oh! episode stops for now. We're gonna switch things on Twitch. Have a good night, and bye bye